Maker. Jewelry Maker offers an extensive range of creative workshops for all levels from beginners right through to advanced. Each workshop is run by our approachable tutors who are all friendly, knowledgeable and are specialists in their field of expertise. Our popular courses are tailor-made to suit your needs and to help you get started with a new hobby or to advance your skills onto the next level. We keep the class sizes small to ensure you get plenty of one-to-one -one attention, so book early to avoid disappointment. For more information, contact our call centre or visit our website. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Welcome, welcome to Designer Inspiration. My name's Vicky. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm normally on the Late Show. Uh, so it's lovely to be here. I always get very excited when I do Designer Inspirations because I always love to know how to create things. I love getting ideas. So very exciting to be here on Designer Inspiration this afternoon. So good. And we've got some really, really beautiful, beautiful things as well. Um, should we have a look at our kit? Shall we? Let's have a little look at this because this is amazing. This is going to be our first designer inspiration kit and my goodness, what a beauty. Absolutely incredible. This is sterling silver, sterling silver with those beautiful pearls. Oh wow, so sterling silver, all this wire down here the gorgeous chains, and then we have got the two sets of pearls and rose quartz in there as well. Just divine, absolutely divine. So you wait and see what we can create and what has been created with those. We are with the very talented Sammy today. How are you? <laughs> Ready and raring to go. I'm going to have another look at some things now. I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> Who's that is? Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this should be on me. I'll be there in a moment. Right, let's have a little look because these are absolutely, I mean, they're so lightweight, so, so lightweight. These are incredible. Um, these are amazing. We've got memory wire cutters. And look at those, wow. Gorgeous, look at those. <gasps> they're so lightweight, so easy to work with, so easy to work with. Just amazing. Now, Sammy, these these are your 
go-to pieces, aren't they? This, this make and these designs and this is, this is your recommendation on these. Yeah, I did, because I use them all the time at home. So I brought them in to, to Hannah upstairs and said, we need to get these, because I absolutely love them. Yeah. Um, because they are so, is it ergonomic? They're so light on my hands and my grip goes. So it's really nice not to have to put a lot of pressure in to do what I want. Yeah. Um, especially in the mornings, because my grip is, is rubbish, which is why I like wire, because if you drop it, it doesn't go anywhere. That's true. <laughs> Stretchy bracelets are a nightmare. I can't do them. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I can't I do can them imagine. anymore. <laughs> um, and also, we literally just went to Laura Barton, which was in the ocean. We were like, look what we've got. And she got out her bag and went, I've got some too. <laughs> she literally bought yeah. hers with her today as well, and she's obviously been using them today. So they are amazing. So let's not forget we've got those coming up a little bit later on. Just incredible. We've got gorgeous pieces now we are going to start with these i have never seen this cut before and this cut is just so cool i love this it's called a pumpkin cut so pumpkin shaped quartz my goodness the pink is so nice and bright and vibrant that beautiful blue they go so well together but my goodness that cut is absolutely amazing it's so unusual and so different i have never seen anything quite like this before and they're just so wonderful because they've got those sort of larger facets over the top of them. They really sparkle as the light catches them, really sparkle. And those colours are so nice and bright and nice and vibrant, but it is that shape that's so different and so unusual. And something I've never, I've never seen it before, never seen it before. So I don't think I've ever seen this sort of out in the high street either. So really nice to have a little twist on the rounds which is really, really lovely. Oh, like Charlie Santa, Belinda, absolutely. That is what they look like. They do look like that, that's perfect. If you do want to message in like Belinda, feel free, please do. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to know, uh, you can send your text to 60777, but you must start with JM Studio. Uh, or I think you can message on the web as well. Perfect, so yeah, send your messages in at 60777, just start with JM Studio. Oh my goodness, amazing colour, bright, vibrant, but it is that really unusual shape. Yeah, absolutely like Chinese lanterns. They're so gorgeous. I love the size of them. They're a little bit um, slightly larger and they've got that great shape to them, so they're really going to stand out. And just a real variation on a round. I think that's perfect. So 450 characters worth in each strand. Uh, we've got the blue and the pink coloured eye quartz. They're 12 mil in their size and 37 centimetres. All for just amazing. Two strands at 9.95. Yes, I love that, Phil. Great way to start. 9.95, that's for two strands. And they're really substantial sizes as well. Just the most unusual shape to them. Perfect, really unusual. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of a variation on around, which I think is just great. Lovely colours to them, nice and bright, but those facets really make it sparkle. I love that, that's great. So different, so unusual, aren't they? Fab, fab, 9.95, that's 9.95 for two strands. Two strands, beautiful. Love that. It is so unusual. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this before. No, I've not seen that cut before. I really like them. Oh, they're just, they're really loads of fun, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And just, and like I said, I, I love the fact that it's just slightly different to a round. You can probably use them in the same way you would use a round. Yeah. Nice and easy to work with. Yeah. But just a little bit different. They're Ooh. really nice. I mean, you could intersperse like um, black uh, obsidian or uh, yeah. onyx in between each of those strands and they, you'd actually dress it up to be quite classy. Absolutely. So it could yeah. either be like really funky sort of young beachwear yeah. or it could be incredibly classy. Yeah, perfect. That, that's perfect. Ooh, um, oh, okay. So uh, Deborah says, um, I'm not a great fan of the fastest strands. So I prefer the plain strands, but these are great and not too fussy. Yeah, they're perfect, aren't they? They're just a slight alteration and slightly different variation on around. I think they're great. Two strands at just 9.95. Gorgeous, love those. Nice and bright, nice and fun. Perfect. Let's pop those back on there now. Whenever I, I don't think I've ever seen these together in a in a bundle before. But whenever I see them separately, I always want to grab them and put them together because they are so beautiful together. Absolute beach essential. Yes, indeed. Uh, we've got turquoise puffy coins. They're the 12 mil. And then the coral colour shell pearl in the 10 mil rounds. Look at that. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, absolute perfect combination together, absolutely perfect. But like you said, by adding maybe black obsidian or even a lovely spinel to either one of these would give it a very sophisticated look. I actually love coral and, per and turquoise together yeah. as it is. But that, yeah, I really like putting those two colours together because yeah. they really fire off each other. They, they really, really do, good. they really do. And I find whenever I have turquoise, although it's a really bright, vibrant gem on its own and it's sort of a mm. great, great colour, I always find it's, it seems to be really versatile. You can pretty, put, pretty much put any colour with it. Yeah. And it will still always go. I think that's very, very true. But I think it's because it's one of the more um, natural colours, like yeah. sort of sky and things like that so we're used to seeing it with everything yeah which automatically means to to, to our to, minds yeah, that it will go eye, with yeah, anything it, yeah whereas you might think because those are opposite on the spectrum that you wouldn't necessarily put them together yeah. but they work really well so together. well together so yeah. well they're so beautiful nice and bright nice and vibrant and that gorgeous turquoise is, ju is just phenomenal mm -hmm. really unusual really unusual to be the um the puffy coins as well because it means if you want to make bracelets or neckline pieces or a little ring or a little ring perfect it's going to yeah. sit so nicely isn't it because it's got that flat edge to it yep yeah. Uh, really gorgeous, rings. lovely for little little copper bit of copper wire with a turquoise because yeah. copper and turquoise always say well it's the same as the coral and turquoise it looks really really good together. Yeah, I love that. That looks amazing. Ooh, I like it with that colour. That looks good. lovely. So uh, we've got 240 carats worth of the turquoise and then the coral shell pearl in 10 mil rounds. And again, wow, wow, both strands at 9.95. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> That's normally, you, you pay kind of that for the turquoise. For the turquoise it? on its own, yeah, absolutely. So 9 95 for both strands, for both strands. That's beautiful. Fabulous colours. They look amazing together. They really do look beautiful together. But even if you don't want to use them together, you've got really gorgeous, gorgeous colours there to separate and split up. And whether you put maybe the coral with some silver or maybe you want to put it with some black, going to really make that quite a sophisticated colour as well as the turquoise. But don't they look beautiful together? Very beachy, very summery, just absolutely gorgeous. Nine ninety-five, Just a really, really beautiful. I mean, I always think even if you put... I'm just going to grab some pearls from our, even sort of the coral with the pearls, it looks just beautiful. Yeah, coral and pearls look amazing, turquoise and pearls look amazing, if you do turquoise, coral and pearls it also looks amazing, so yeah it's really good. Love it, I'm going to put the turquoise but, on there as well. But how <gasps> beachy is that, how amazing is that, that's a um, fabulous summer evening isn't I it? I am quite sold on that, I'm yeah. not going to lie. Yeah, it looks really good. Beautiful. Then, oh my I'll put, goodness. I'll put pearls with anything. I love pearls. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, I think they're so sophisticated, so elegant. I'll just go with anything and make anything look sophisticated and elegant. They are uh, that is an amazing mix. What a great mix those three together. Yeah. Just perfect. These pearls are in the designer inspiration kit, so I'm just gonna pop those back over there with the with the full kit. Just, I mean, so beautiful, so, so beautiful. And it just, it's just very dependent on what you want to put it with and how you want to mix it up. But I think with those pearls, just, I've got to grab them again, I'm sorry, because they just look, <laughs> they just look so perfect. Yeah. Even just a simple three strand, one yeah. strand of each, you know, yeah. great. Oh my goodness, oh, yeah, I love that. Let's pop them in. Yes. Oh, a nice collar of that would be beautiful. And you wouldn't need anything else, would you? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yes, please. Just beautiful. So don't forget those pearls coming up. We've got a couple of strands of pearls in that design inspiration kit. Lovely. Yes. Now, we're going to go with fluorite. I love this gemstone. When you see it in its very, very natural form, uh, you see it in the, it's just clear, completely clear. Once Mother Nature starts injecting it with different elements, it starts to change colour, which is just incredible. These are beautiful, beautiful colours that you're going to see in here. And we've got sort of the mix of the pinks, the purples, that beautiful orange. We've got greens in there as well. And there are three strands and they are completely natural. So it is Mother Nature that sort of injected it with a bit of colour just to give it a little bit of a different look. These are so beautiful. I love the nuggets on here. The nuggets look amazing. Beautiful, vibrant greens in there. The purples. 
I love when you get like a bicolour fluorite as well and you get a real sort of a, a mix, a straight sort of flash of that colour. Such a beautiful, beautiful gemstone, really unusual gemstone. And like I say, when you see it in its completely neutral form, it's that clear, that clear gemstone. But they are natural. It is Mother Nature that's just injected it with all that colour. And how beautiful does it look with all that colour? Once you put this gemstone in fluorescent light, it will absolutely glow, just absolutely glow. And it's so stunning. So we've got 155 carats worth of multicolored fluorite uh, in the small nuggets. Massive strand there, massive strand. We've got 152 um, carats worth of a hexagon and 20 carats worth in those beautiful plain rounds. So really, really great value. You always get great value when it's the nuggets, always. They just go so far, don't they? So, so far. So you've got three strands, pretty much a double strand there of the nuggets, all for just 9 95 again. Oh, my goodness. There is, appears to be a bit of a theme developing. Mm, 9 95 this time for three strands. Wow. That's a bargain. Isn't it? It really is. I love fluorite as well. Yeah. Because I actually really like using it on headbands <gasps> because yep. the, the, the headbands like kind of glow through it. Yes. And it really, yeah, really looks good. How lovely. Yeah, really lovely. Um, I always think it's really nice to have the same gem in all these different shapes and sizes as well because you can create real sort of intricate designs and almost sort of texture to your designs by having such different shapes. You can. But know that they'll always go because they're the same gem. But also the thing about fluorite is because it's so many different colours, you don't actually have to add any other <laughs> gems in. No. I just tend to restrand them. So like with the hexagon, I'd probably put a um, little space bead in between, maybe maybe little seed pearls or something like that. And you just, Ooh, nice. just a lovely... Or if you went with bronze, it looks really, really vintage. Oh, it does. It does look amazingly vintage. I'm going to put like a coppery colour against it. Yeah, the copper looks good too. Yeah. Or with the little seed beads on the end, you could do one of those in between each of the hexagon. You've yeah. got a really simple, really beautiful looking necklace because that cut is quite unusual. Yeah. And you've put no effort in. Um, and when I do an, um, a gemstone necklace, they they usually around eighteen pounds for the necklace. Perfect. So wow. You're already. You already Don't sort of too money and yeah. haven't used the chips. Absolutely, yeah, without even having the chips out. Yeah, that's mm. it. Per they're so beautiful. There's so many on this as well. So, so many on that strand, and you're really witnessing all those beautiful colours. And they do just seem to glow. I know once they're in fluorescent light, they glow, but even mm. without, they are a beautiful gemstone that are really sort of, you're really seeing them right there. Mm. I love the fact you've got purples and yellows and everything all the way yeah, through the one all the way stone. through. Great. Really stunning. So that's three strands at just 9 95 Beautiful. Love, love those. Let's pop those back on there. Right then, we have got... Everybody knows how much we love Labradorite. Absolutely love this gemstone because of the way it catches the light, the beautiful shiloh. You see all those wonderful, wonderful colours. So we've got Labradorite and we've also got Sunstone. Now, every time the light catches Sunstone, it sort of glitters. It's absolutely stunning, and it's got a real, really similar look to the Labradorite. So again, these are going to look perfect together. You're going to get that colour and that shimmer from the Labradorite, and then you're going to get that wonderful glitter effect from the Sunstone. Just look at that. Just gorgeous. See all that beautiful colour from the Labradorite? The blues, the turquoises, the golden colours, those greens coming out there as well. And when we look at the Sunstone, because it's faceted as well, Every time it catches the light, it's got such a beautiful shimmer to it. Just stunning. Just beautiful, beautiful colour as well. I always think with sunstone, not only is it going to go with every skin tone, it can pretty much go with any outfit that you wear as well, because it's those neutral colours. Yeah. It's something you can wear day and night. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to worry about particularly changing your necklace if you're just heading off out straight after work or something, so it's nice. But I, I'm always fascinated by both of those strands because yeah. I love anything that has integral, like colour and shimmer, like opals and labradorite yeah, and right, sunstone yeah. and moonstone. I absolutely love them because it's just like magic. Yeah, like, it is like, like magic, isn't it? Yeah. It is like magic. Yeah, it's amazing. These sorts of phenomena are not only incredible, but they're they look so beautiful and completely natural. Yeah. So people, when they come and they look at my stall. And they look at the things I have. One of my statement pieces is a big Labradorite piece. Um, always have a big Labradorite piece as a centerpiece because people see it 
and they come over and have a look. Yeah. Um, they, they're fascinated by the fact that it's natural, it's not resin, it's not done with the, you know, it's not glass, it's yeah. not created, it's completely formed by nature. Yeah. And then they look, and then you can talk through uh, the, the sunstone and the moonstone, and they're just blown away by it all. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I think if you've never seen Lampadrite before, or if you can remember back to the first time that you saw it, it's just so beautiful and so unusual. And the fact you're right that it is made and created by nature just beautiful these two strands again at 995 you've got these incredible <laughs> phenomena in labrador i would say you probably pay almost that for labrador on its own wouldn't you i think i've paid more than that for sunstone anyway wow but yeah so um mum if you're watching can i have them please <laughs> <laughs> i love want them it. i want a shopping one. order yeah there we go <laughs> love that <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Tip bill or wink. Yeah. Please, you'll get me some of these. <laughs> That's perfect. And they are so beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous yeah. colour to them. Very neutral colour on the sunstone. But you can look at that. You can really see on every single one that colour coming off of that Labradorite. It's just beautiful. Those two strands at just nine ninety-five again is just phenomenal. Really beautiful colours. And it is that phenomena that just is just wonderful. Really gorgeous shimmer to it. Beautiful sparkle. Oh, uh, Paula says, hi, Vicky, Sammy, and all the JM crew. What time are all the Zoom pliers coming on? <laughs> uh, are we going, to, we going to do them in, a, in about five, ten minutes, aren't we? In about three minutes, Ooh. even less time. In about three minutes. So don't you worry, Paula. They are on the way. There. Beautiful. I love those. Right, let's pop those on there. Yes. Perfect. So, if you, I, I, I really love these because there is so much you can do with them. Whether you want to just wire wrap in one major gem, you can put an, um, an amount of about, you can put nine on there. You can put nine gemstones on there. Um, I did, um, I saw Mark Smith work with this and he put six on, six of those beautiful drop gems which looked amazing. Uh, that's on my Facebook page if you want to go and have a little look at that because that was amazing. He used citrine and peridot. So beautiful. This is a sterling silver. It's adjustable as well which is just perfect. And as you can see you wire in or however you want to attach anything on there, gemstones or you could put major clusters of maybe jump rings or anything on there. Um, tell me what sort of designs you think you might create if you had this? Uh, I, yeah, you can do the, um, put lots and lots of dangles on them, yeah. stack, them oh, up, nice. stack them up, stack them up, so you have this beautiful cluster, clustering. Or you can, you can get tiny rondelles and you yeah. can put them in between, yeah. which is, so you can do either of those, which is lovely. I, I do like those, well, they're a bit of a double-edged sword for me, these, because I silversmith, so I'm, I can't make them as cheaply as you can get them. Oh, well, there you go. Um, so I'm kind of like, yeah, I really like those, but, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I wish honest, that I could make them myself. But I want to make them myself, but then if I make that myself, I'm going to have to charge an awful lot more. Right. So you're better off to grab these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean they are they are beautiful, and um, Mark Smith designed them by um, I think he sort of just wrapped, sort of almost billet wrapped little drops and attached them, and there were just six of them. So he missed out the middle roll, and went to the two outside outside ones, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful. You use yeah, use citrine and use peridot. If you get lots of little pearls yeah. and put them on head pins on there and just have a beautiful big pearl clustering, yeah. that would look really vintage beautiful. and absolutely <gasps> stunning. So vintage. A real kind of, and the movement you get when you do something like that, the movement, because I like anything that has kind of movement. I like to make little bracelets with bells on and all sorts. Oh, cause, gorgeous. Yeah, because I just, I just love movement and sound yeah. in, in a piece. Yeah. So, yeah, that's one of the... That's really a really lovely things. idea, really lovely idea. Oh, uh, Margaret says, afternoon, Jim. Uh, rubies or sapphires would be beautiful. Absolutely, Margaret. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Really lovely. Oh, question about... Uh, first time I ever saw Love Drive was on Sammy's stool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I worship at the altar of Love Drive. <laughs> absolutely, like this. Yes. It's so beautiful. I mean, what a that's great... Amazing. There you go. That's absolutely showing you that... The first time you see it that you can remember it and it's just 
it's yeah. something that will always be there because it's such a beautiful gem I think so many of us are passionate about it and when you're passionate about something it's very easy to share that passion with other people so you can talk about it yeah and talk about how much it amazes you and fascinates you and then you know people love to hear that and it shows when you love something absolutely it yeah. really does show and I think it's so nice when you don't know too much about it so you can then someone tells you how it works and lots of tiny little labradorite rondelles oh, there. beautiful <laughs> no. really beautiful this is sterling wow wow yeah you see this is why I get angry <laughs> She's <laughs> raging, uh, uh, not even half an hour and she's already <laughs> raging. <laughs> but I can't do it at that price, there's no, no way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take me a while yeah. to make that because obviously I'd, I'd have to do it all by hand. So yeah. yeah, you'd be looking at at least £40 wow. just for the ring shank and then... And then the rest on top. But yeah, in terms of my labour and my time. Yeah, absolutely. So even for you, worth grabbing this. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I love that it's adjustable as well. So it doesn't yeah. matter what you do to it it's always going to fit somebody yes yes just i mean amazing the fact that you could have this and i think it's really nice because sometimes you want to wear them on different hands and different fingers and if you're anything like me my ring sizes can change by like three or four a day wow. up and down because i you know especially if i get hot my yeah. fingers swell up and uh, you know if in the morning i'm usually i can't get my rings on and things so i i have a lot of adjustable rings perfect um, so yeah yeah for that I, think, reason. I think everybody's does change slightly doesn't it when it comes yeah. to warmth or if you've worked on them and done stuff with them then well, they as soon as you go in cold air your fingers shrink yeah which is what happens when people come and they try a ring on at your store and then they can't they panic and then they f they it, your finger already starts swelling because yeah. you're panicking because you're panicking so i'm just like stay really calm and yeah. your hand in the cold water so you don't have to worry about that too much but it also gives people the opportunity to buy them as gifts so if yeah. you wanted to make somebody an absolute fabulous ring 6.95 for a solid silver ring Nothing. that's an amazing gift yeah to absolutely so if you're thinking ahead of christmas now yeah. which i am because i got a ridiculous amount of children so i'm, <laughs> I'm always buying throughout the year yeah um if i see a bargain i get that and then that goes in my well, I note they're all at school in my wardrobe <laughs> yeah you are you are so organized you're like my mum. my mum is so ridiculously organized no most people have sort of a present drawer that if they see something for someone they go oh they'd really like that yeah. put it in the drawer and wait for a birthday or Christmas yeah no my mum's like you she has a wardrobe yeah. of stuff and every time you like have a peek and I'm like yeah but how do you know what these are for she's like well that's for that person that's mm. for them that's for them because it's something that you've seen along the way and I think yeah. that's so nice and I think beautiful that you can create pieces for somebody even if you're not quite sure of their mm -hmm. ring size and doesn't even matter because they can then dictate they can then dictate what yeah. finger it goes on where they wear it how they wear it yeah it's beautiful yeah. really beautiful idea so nice and 6.95 for sterling silver just perfect really malleable easy to work with um, I think we've got a nice message Perfect. Let's have a look. Oh, what time for tools? I ha uh, have to go out for the school run shortly. Right, now. We're going to do it now for you. Don't go anywhere. Let's pop that. Um, I'm going to pop that in there. And we are going to go. Yes. That's a lovely Catriona who came on one of my workshops, and she's amazing. Oh, so, perfect. Hi, Catriona. Oh, how lovely. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Perfect. Now, I'm going to pass over to you on these because um, these are your absolute go-to tools. So many bean people have been asking about them. So obviously they are a tool that everybody has wanted and everybody kind of needs. They're so amazing. Now, I know that you can't use normal cutters on memory wire. No. Because it will just ruin them. No, and I know Alison Terry just did that. <gasps> Accidentally picked up her very expensive cutting pliers and mm. put a ding in, and then did exactly the same thing again, so she's got two holes. <gasps> so you can text in and let her know about that on Saturday. Um, so <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yeah, I absolutely love these because, like I've already mentioned, my grip is, is bad in the morning. Um, these they spring back but it's not a really strong spring it's a gentle yeah it is really, it's gentle. really gentle they have a beautiful um, it, I want to say soft but it's kind of it's a I don't know how to describe it it's not rubbery but it's it's really it's not sticky it's a really nice feel to it this it's grip got, yeah it's got a, a non-stick like it's like a non-slip grip, grip um, yeah, to non it yes but it's not 
uncomfortable, it's not rough, it's very smooth it's in, very that respect, yeah, in that so respect, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously, I think, I don't know, it's quite a few people know about my various health conditions, so I'm, I'm usually in quite a lot of pain most of the time. So when I have to, if I have to squeeze something, that can be a real issue. Right. With these, it's so, they are so lightweight, you can just ping your memory wire, and they, um, they, they just, you don't have to put a load of pressure on. They're perfect, and they automatically spring back open, so I'm not fighting to open perfect. them back and everything else. I absolutely adore them. I can't rate them highly enough. Yeah to be honest, because yeah. it does make a massive difference to me. And I, and um, I love the fact that these, these are what you use, this is yeah. what you will automatically go to yeah. because of that, but also, uh, ah, oh, Dorothy is, I have these and these are fab. Yeah. I think the fact that if it makes life easier for you, but it's going to make life easier for everybody as well. It they're is. such great quality, they're really light, so if you do a lot of travel with them, perfect they're very comfortable very comfortable and you're right like that spring back it's it's it's, like, it's almost like yeah it's almost like it's got some sort of yeah resistance it, against it so it, it doesn't it, just ping no it's just it is dictated by your hand yeah so you don't feel it's pushing against you at all so wherever you hold your hand it stays which is very very important for me and obviously I've got some some memory wire here. Perfect. So we're going to do a little demo. Oh, yeah, fabulous. That's it. How yeah. quick? Can we show one more time? I do. I'll do another little bit. But it's just like that. Oh my and I'm goodness. Not, I'm not having to put a load of pressure on. No. Which is it is something that I can really struggle with these days. So um, I absolutely. I just wanted to show that because I, I rate them so highly. It was uh, you know that's why I went into Hannah and raved about them yeah. so much. I love that, that they're what you use and what you have always sort of gone to, A, because it's easy to work with, they're nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. So tell me, tell, tell me, and for anybody that doesn't know, why you can't use normal cutters on wire? On memory wire. Yeah, on memory wire. That what will happen is, because memory wire is so strong and it, it stays, whatever you do with it, it pings back to whatever shape it was in. Yeah. Um, and it's really, 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 really strong. Yeah. So if you use your ordinary cutters on that, what you're going to do is blunt them. Right. Um, and that is the absolute last thing you want to do when you're doing wire work because you need your, your precision cutters and everything to cut properly. You yeah. don't need to be chewing up wire, which is what will happen if you use it on memory wire. You Perfect. can't. I mean, they, normal cutters will cut memory wire, but they'll be blunt. But they'll be done after they're, that one it. go. You've, you've wrecked them. Wow. And you don't, just don't want to do that. So no. worth grabbing them. Uh, Diane says, I love my memory wire cutters as, I le um, as they leave a double-sided flush cut yes, on the wire. they do. That's the other thing. You don't have like a pointy bit. It is, it is, yeah, they're great. Absolutely love them. Perfect. Good point. Um, Hi girls, uh, from uh, Bogda. Hi girls, Sammy. What is the max thickness of those wire cutters that they can cope with? Love I the show. Don't actually know that because oh. I just use them on the memory wire. Right. So I, I've not sort of gone to. I mean, I know on some of the other cutters we have it will say on the handle. So I don't actually know because memory wire tends to be one kind of one kind of thickness. thickness so I couldn't Although tell you that. Although they obviously are extremely They're strong. Ex They're obviously very, very, very strong. Extremely so I think, strong. So I think careful. that you could put, and there's lots of room in there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but there's yeah. lots of room in there to fit a well, decent size. Yes. I would hate to get out the wrong information. So yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. If you just want to have a look, there you go. They're amazing, aren't they? Perfect. So these are memory wire cutters. So many of these. Very, is this the first time? Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's a good price. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Well done. If you've managed 17.95, they are absolutely exquisite, aren't they? Really beautiful. So nice and light. Wonderful to work with. They've got that beautiful bounce back, which is not mm -hmm. is not harsh. It's not strict like any kind of uncomfortable no. feel to them they're really good just um, perfect i saw some of these on internet auction site for 30 pounds <gasps> so i was wondering what they were going to launch at here perfect so yeah fabulous 17.95 i think that's amazing and it's i think when deal. you can't use any other cutters on memory wire than than memory wire cutters why would you not want to get 
the best that you can get for them. Well, like I say, for me, it is all about actual accessibility. Yeah. Um, that's that's the most important thing because I don't want to, you know, obviously I don't want to <laughs> ruin my hands because that would be that. Of course not. No, of course <laughs> not. So, yeah, that's what it is for me. I, I like to have the best tools possible for the job because I think if you've got the best tools possible, it helps you to do the better job anyway. Yeah, amazing. Who did you say is grab some? Alison Taru. Yeah. Yes. Done. I love it. I love that. This is just perfect. And I think if it makes life easier for you because it is a little bit more difficult, but even if you've got none of that, why would you not want to make it no, as easy as I mean, possible? That's it. I mean, Alison's got them, yeah. mainly because she just wrecked her normal cutters on them. Sorry, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> My way, that's so good. Again. I love you. <laughs> Perfect. Right, I think there's still some of those available. Um, but we're going to move on to the other ones because people have got school runs. So we're going to do the next one. Um, but well done. There are so many of you grabbing these, and I think just perfect. They're still available. So don't think that you we've moved on. You can't grab them. Still keep checking them out. Absolutely, don't miss out. So they're the memory wire cutters. Now we're going to go on to the tweez and nose pliers. Um, yeah, tweez and nose pliers. My goodness me these must be able to do the most intricate work ever on these i'm looking they at these are. and go they're so fine but so strong as well really 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 strong yeah really. I mean, zora and I are a well-known make and yeah. highly recommended um i use them all the time i think if you've ever been on one of my workshops you've just seen me use them absolutely rate them highly been pestering about these for months because i love them so much um, the ends are so extremely fine, yeah. but like you say, really, really strong. So when you're doing wire pieces, like I do a, a lot of wire pieces, and you want to get that end squidged down, just yeah. right, and you need to get into really difficult places. Say if you're doing a cuff, and you've just you ended the weave um, really close to like a stone, and you need to get in there, and how, how many times have you tried to get a normal pair of pliers in there, just and you can't cool. actually get in there to finish it? and you need to get the best possible finish on all your items. Of these, you do. I use these more than anything else at all, right. ever. These are my absolute ones I always use. Yeah. Um, so I'm really pleased to be able to use them on air from now on. Yeah, Because it, it's great because it, it, it widens up the amount of designs you can do. And you might think that that's ridiculous, but until you've actually got them, and you can see, so if you've just got, you know, it's, it's even, if you've made a small little round loop, and you want to wire wrap a bead onto it and then you've got to be able to get the end of your pliers into a tiny little loop and squidge that that um, bit that you've just wrapped around it yeah. in order to hide it and make it perfect you can actually do that with this you're not limited to to what you do you, your finish is so much better yeah I can't you know and again they are perfectly comfortable for me yeah, they are. And for somebody that does wire work constantly or somebody that doesn't it's perfect for you but for me because I just use them all it's like an extension of my arm yeah. that's how they feel because they're so light because they are so light yeah absolutely and you can do I mean I'm just looking at them now I'm just seeing it the most intricate work and makes it so easy doesn't it rather than it trying really to find the gap trying to find the hole trying to find the gap Done. yeah exactly I mean we've all anybody who's done what has experienced that you're trying to get trying to get the end of your pliers. They're also, <laughs> I do pluck, pluck my eyebrows with them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best admission, oh. but they're great. But, <laughs> but you saying that, you saying that just proves how strong they are, how perfect they are. And yes. they literally have got what appears to be the most perfect finish to them. They have, they close, um, they're so small when they are closed. When you actually grip them tightly together like that, yeah and you look at the end, they are even smaller than one end of most chain nose pliers. Yeah. Um, that you get, you know, your standard ones. So that, and that's with it entirely shut. So it's actually half that size when you want yeah. to get in there. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Perfect. I think we've got, um We've got lots of messages coming in. Yay, you've been yes. waiting forever for these, says Jan. Got them. Yeah. Uh, and there's some more. Yes. Looking forward to using both. Thanks, ladies. You're very, Yay. very welcome. Very welcome. We've got some more. Got mine, Sammy, says Sally. Yes. Oh, I, I mean, amazing. <laughs> amazing. And I just think knowing that 
that you, uh, oh yeah, um, got in quick to get mine, says Sean. Yeah. I mean, I think the fact that you not only endorse them, but have yeah. been the one to go, these are amazing. I use these all the time. Yeah. People need to be able to get People these. People need to have them. If you want to, you know, if you're taking your wire work, either for, even as a the beginner, they're really useful. But if you want to take it up to that next level, you need the tools to do it as well. Yeah. And so for me, this is just an absolute must have. I will go that far because that's why I brought, uh, I, you know, I came in to Hannah with them and said, please. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm making these designs and I want to be able to use these on screen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as well. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alison says, it's not Alison's job. Yeah, she's Alison's at work, so John was primed to. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, that. Can't, you can't miss it. I need them. I, I need, need them. them. I need them. them. <laughs> Perfect. Right, let's let's see how much these are going to be because these are absolutely amazing and so many people have grabbed them. So many people. Oh, even less, fifteen yeah. ninety five. I Whoa! Paid, I paid more than that in a sale. Did you? Yes. Paid more than fifteen ninety five in a sale. I paid um, well over seventeen pounds in a sale. Fiona says, afternoon ladies, woohoo, got home just in time to buy pliers. Uh, well done, GM, and thanks, Sammy, for the heads up. Uh, happy bunny, me and Fiona, the guest design. She's a Jeffy, yeah, that's Fee Potter, that's Love our thing. She's been looking forward to getting them. Love that. You see, we're all, all, see, this all is, the guests. See, this is it. I don't them. think that there's any way you can speak any more highly about these because yeah. you've brought them in and said we need these Alison's grabbed them Fiona's grabbed them and you're yeah. all guest designers who work with these all the time so why yeah. wouldn't you want to get we've got Janet yeah, Jan there as well grabbing see, them Janet's got them as well and it you, that just it just goes to show that you know as a as somebody who who works constantly with <clears throat> with wire yeah or whatever medium you need but yeah you need to have really good tools for it and you, Absolutely. Know, you know if Janet and Alison and I are like all over them then you know and Fee of course I think I think yeah you, that, that speaks absolute volumes without doing anything else I think yeah I really don't think because if guest designers such as yourself and, and everybody else that's grabbing them I think yeah. just perfect I've got, I've got several pairs because I like to have one in one hand and so if I'm holding it uh, I'll hold it a piece of work quite steady with one pair yeah and then I'll get in where I need to with the other pair yeah um, so I have several pairs of them I yeah. have to say no but them. but true if you need to work intricately in in a spot a bit like it's almost like an operation isn't it it can be yeah and when we've all sat there with a pin trying to get <laughs> you know trying to get that wire to go between and and that's the kind of level that you get to sometimes with wire work because you're just desperate to get that that perfect finish um, so you, why would you not have something like this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's it, isn't it? Um, Mark says, how wide are the tips uh, on the tweezers, please? How wide? I think they're about, they look between one and one and a half mil, don't they? Across the front there. Mine are absolutely... They're so tiny. <laughs> they are. I haven't got... Um, I might be able to... Have you got a ruler there? Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's have a little look because they are so tiny. So do you want one of them? Oh, it's like... Huh? Okay, so it's like, looks like half a millimetre. Half, yeah, half a millimetre depth. Half a millimetre. And, and the yeah. width will be. And then the gap in between appears to be about... Oh, they'll go really wide. So they will, yeah, they that. go right, o yeah, they go right open. So yeah, each, each nib, if that's what you're after, is half and a millimetre. How long are they, how long are they that way to? How long are they? Oh, no, across the tip. So what he wants to know across here too. He wants to know across that bit. Oh, across Because you've done that bit. Yeah. So across this way. Yeah. Uh, they're about one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. You see, they're perfectly, um, they're amazing. Yeah, about one and a half. Ah, oh, that says, help, I'm so nervous. Am I going to register jewellery business now? Oh my goodness. Like now, opening shop in three weeks. Could somebody calm me down? What an amazing thing. That's so exciting. I, I don't know if I could calm you down because I'd be bouncing off the walls <laughs> with excitement. I'd be like, yes, that's so good. Well, really good luck to you. That's yeah, brilliant. absolutely. How really exciting. Good. Yeah, that's fab. That's so exciting. So exciting. Amazing stuff. Well done. Well done. <laughs> um, I want to know. I think you need to message us in and let us know how you're getting on once you get going. Yeah. Let yeah. us know how you're getting on. Definitely. Definitely. So fifteen ninety five. My goodness. Right. Again, there's still lots of stock there, so you can still grab them. Um, how much has gone? 
Oh, wow, two thirds has already gone. Wow. Okay. So um, <laughs> we started with lots. <laughs> yeah, we started with 300 of them. And they've nearly all got. Right, yeah. I'm not surprised. I thought they would fly like that because they are just amazing. Phenomenal, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely phenomenal. So keep, you can keep checking them out. Keep checking them out. Uh, and it's now time. I'm so excited because your pieces mm. are beautiful Thank you. for designer inspiration. Oh, I love it. Now, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. To me, this is just absolutely perfect for the most glamorous, the most elegant, sophisticated, and beautiful designs that you can create with this. This is an absolutely stunning designer inspiration kit. Really, really beautiful. Now, uh, let me talk you through what we've got. Uh, we've got an entire, it's all sterling silver. So we've got an entire meter's worth of sterling silver oval link chain for you. Um, in the three by two mil. Then we've got an entire meter's worth of the silver snake chain. That's the one mil. That's beautiful as well. Absolutely stunning. Then we have got uh, in, the, in the wire, we've got it's an entire meter's worth of each one in the 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and one mil. Um, then we have got 25 carats of the rose quartz. Now these are beautiful graduated plain rounds two to four mil on a 28 centimeter strand we've then got stunning white cultured pearl nuggets uh, in eight by nine or six by seven to nine by six so just stunning the those pearls are absolutely natural is the rose quartz as well i should think yeah and the rose quartz is natural as well i mean what a stunning kit I, even looking at it here like this i'm going oh, it just looks so elegant Oh my goodness, there's so much here. I love all those different gauges in the silver, which means you can create very intricate pieces. You've got structure, you've got intricate detail. There's just everything you can do there, everything you can do. And I know some pieces will take up all four different gauges as well. Yeah, you can do something with all four gauges. You could do things with all of them separately. Yeah, yeah you don't have to use them all at once. No, so. absolutely. And these pearls are magnificent. Natural pearls, which are just so stunning. They're just gleaming, aren't they, from there? Absolutely gleaming. Now, we've got two sizes in the pearls, and we've got the... Uh, eight by nine and then actually there's slightly different ones in here they're six by seven to nine by six so a real variation there which is lovely uh, it looks stunning very feminine next to the rose quartz i think that the pearls just go so well together and then those beautiful chains to finish off designs if you are creating maybe bracelets or necklace pieces or even earrings as well just so beautiful the fact that they're sterling silver as well i think it's phenomenal at that they are just glowing aren't they absolutely glowing i think when i look at pearls i think that they absolutely deserve the sterling silver they really do yeah they are high-end i always use sterling silver with pearls anyway so yeah absolutely love them yeah me too and i just think they're pieces that will go through every generation they're pieces that are that can be handed down generations as well they are real pieces that you might love want to pass on yep. I think that that's fabulous as well and I think if you can create look at these if you can create pieces with such elegance and such beauty I think it's incredible you don't need to put any effort in with pearls <laughs> that does a lot of the work for you doesn't it look at that but I mean chain. sterling silver is the most lustrous of all the metals so not only are you going to get incredible glamour from the pearls it's going to really stand out because of the shine and the sparkle from the sterling silver yeah i mean what a great way to grab sterling silver even if you don't use it all at once or you just want to save it for some ideas that you've got how great to be able to grab sterling silver in a designer inspiration kit when you know you're going to get great value for it because it's in a full kit all together yes look at that goes for there's so much in this kit it goes for miles does it yeah yeah amazing yeah. that's really good to know that's really good to know right so we have got the two chains entire uh, meters worth in those both those chains then we've got all those wires in 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 mil uh, the rose quartz rounds two to four mil and then the cultured pearls in those two different sizes or sort of varying sizes beautiful beautiful kit i'm so excited about this we should be at 67.55 no, was this the kit that you put a price gauge on it? 
Yeah, I was chatting to Alison and Fee, and I was quite nervous. I thought, this has got, I said to them, this has got to be an £80 kit. This has got to be, I put this at 79 And when you asked me upstairs, yeah. I said, I put this at 79 95 For the full kit? For the full kit, because you had all of the wire and all of the chain. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so that's what I put pitched it at, so <laughs> I was absolutely shocked. Right, so 67 55 it's where we should be. You'd already had it higher than that, and we're not yeah. even going to stop there. What are you going to buy? Oh! 42.95. About almost half of what you thought it was going to be. Yeah. Definitely time to grab these pieces because they're natural pearls. It's natural rose quartz. They sit so beautifully together. And now the fact that it's sterling silver, you've got those two chains, entire metres worth of chains. So, like you say, it's just going to go on and on and on and on. Yes. And those four different gauges as well to either create structure or to create intricate beauty to them. You can do. I mean, you've got. You can do anything from um, rosary link chains to charm bracelets to lots and lots of charm bracelets actually, because you've got so much chain. Um, you can you can do little wire. We're going to do a woven pendant, actually. Amazing. Um, but yeah, there's just so many different ways. Clasps as well. Yeah. Making your own clasps, and um, you can see there's one piece that I haven't used any stones at all. I've just done a little bit of wire. I saw and, that. Uh, that looks amazing. Did clasp. you make that? Yeah, I made that a little bit. Um, of course, I did. I love that. <laughs> did no, you I make that? Like, oh. I, loved that. I thought that was part of the. Do you not know who I am? <laughs> do you not know what I can do? I thought that was part of the findings kit. That's amazing. <laughs> no, I made it. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I made it. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> but I honestly, well, then that's. I, I mean, for me, I saw that because I know we've got findings kit coming up. Sterling we have. Findings kit, yeah. And I felt sure, having not really seen everything that was in the findings kit, that was part of it. But no. No. Nope. Do you not know who I am? Mm -hmm. I don't know who I am. I made it. I think that's incredible. But I mean, we'll go through, if, if we get through this pendant, I'll just show that really quickly. I yep. can't show you how to ball the ends up, but I can show you just how to quickly make the two, the double clasp and yes. stuff. But, yeah. I'm so excited. 42.95. I think it's ridiculous for this. It Absolutely is. ridiculous. But I'm coming over. Now, you've got yours of these, haven't you? I do have mine over right. here, indeed. I'm coming over. Of course I do. I'm so excited for this, because when I saw all your pieces, I was like... <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's goodness. it, because I thought it was like an age pattern. I thought, I've got to hate you so much and you so much. But if you look, actually, if I take that one away, yeah. all of this I have left. Oh! And not the chain, because I used all the chain. But yeah, I've got all of those pearls left. Oh if my I put goodness. Up here, and then you can probably. Wow! You can probably see. I've still got quite a bit of wire left, and I've got all of this stuff. Oh my goodness, that's amazing that you've got all of that left. Um, Alex says, okay. Wasn't going to buy, but this kit is what I can see of Sammy's designs and this dear life bought. Woohoo! Yeah, I mean, it's a stunning kit. It is so, and I can't believe it's 42 95 That's ridiculous. No, that is ridiculous. When you sort of had it at near 80 pounds, and yeah. that's just, and that's, you, you know what you're talking about. You know what, that, there it is. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about. You yeah. know what, you see the prices of things all the time. Yes. And, and you I had it at that, and that's the sort yeah. of value that perhaps it should be. Well, that's what I was, I was expecting because that chain, that, um, I left the little chain with the little balls on it and everything. Yes. It's just breathtaking. Yeah. And you don't have to do, you don't have to be amazing at wire work, you don't have to be amazing at anything to use that chain. Um, I know it looks very fine, but on some of them I've put a point four through yeah. to make it, and other ones I've put like with the one with a back, because we'll see <gasps> that one in a minute, because that's got a back. That's that one actually you're looking at now. Is it? Yeah. I'm just going to swizzle that round. And, uh, can I just swizzle that round? And then you can see, now that's very, very bridal. That is, this so, I think is my favourite one. So what would happen is that would sit, because that's quite, and it's, it's a small stand, so that would sit as like a choker. Yeah. And then you have that double backdrop, and that's all solid silver. And Phenomenal. if you charge, I was going to say, if you charge a £42.95 for that, you'd be selling it cheap, I think. Yeah, I think so. If, um, I, if I saw that in a shop, I wouldn't think that you could, that would be £40. No. No. But you I mean you could easily do that and pay for your kit and then have loads of stuff left, even if you just charge forty pounds for that. Amazing! It's great, isn't it? I absolutely love this kit. This is, and the designs that you've created are just so incredibly beautiful. 
Thank you. They're really, really good. They're so sophisticated. They're so elegant. It's hard not to be when you've got a good kit. Absolutely. And I, it? <laughs> I'm looking, so I'm looking at this piece here that everyone's looking at, and I'm going, if I saw that in a shop, there's no way. If I thought, saw that 4295, just that, yeah. and that's not using all of it, obviously, yeah. I'd think, oh my goodness, I have to get that. Whether I get it for me or get it for a gift, because that's a ridiculous price for that. And yet, you can create designs like this. We're going to show you how to do some of it now. Yeah. And still have lots and lots left over. Just amazing. We're going to do, mm -hmm. uh, we, as we sort of panned round, uh, I, like I said, we've got a findings kit coming up. Yeah. That's which that. is really beautiful. And you've incorporated them into your earrings here. And uh, lots of those sort of extra findings in there, so the little um, spaces, the little ball spaces, which are beautiful. They're amazing. I yeah. absolutely love those. Really gorgeous. So uh, uh, there we go, in there. So there, that's coming up, and we're going to do that in about 10 minutes. Now, um, which, which piece are you going to show us how to do? The uh, kind of the, the one with the chain at the end. This, so this one. That one, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that, which is um, it's not a difficult piece to do. So I thought if we did um, as much as we can from start to finish, Yep. Which would be nice. Love to. Um, so excited. You don't actually have to be really competent in uh, weaving. Okay, that's good. Which is great. That's uh, nice. If you don't want to, so you can just do the kind of the bottom bit and then yep. just have that all natural. Because it is um, one mil, yep. you're going to use a one mil with that and then you can hammer it to keep it in play. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's really good. Perfect. I'm so, so excited to see start, this. I, cut six lengths of sterling wire and you can see because this wire the, the one we've got do excuse me I'm having trouble speaking it's fine. <laughs> the wire I had in my last sterling silver show was what we could term half hard yeah which is great for cause um, creating amazing shapes and keeping them this is is like dead soft okay it's called dead dead soft fully annealed so it um, it is perfect for manipulating cool it's really 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 good but that you will want to hammer it in order to make sure it stays where you want but you right. can straighten it out quite that, simply that's perfect so you can sort of manipulate it to where you want if you make yes. a mistake move it back yes and I mean, then once you're there yeah obviously with a half hard wire, with wire you want you've got to be quite kind of a little bit more careful because it yeah. just wants to with a dead soft wire you've got quite a lot more working you can do before it actually um becomes too you know before you overwork yeah. it is yeah. what i'm trying to say no uh, perfect badly no, no, no. <laughs> we got that it's good so i'm going to pick up one of these i've got six lengths the yeah. same length and they think they're just about just under 10 so they're probably about eight centimeters okay long, aren't they? Um, you don't have to do them that length, you can do them whatever you length. Ever size you want. I don't, we're going to start wrapping it with a 0.4. So, I've kept them all the same length, which you, uh, when you look at the piece, you'd be quite surprised because it is kind of graduated. Yeah. Um, but that's because I've used baling pliers to create different size holes, and you can trim it down afterwards yeah. as well. So, I'm actually working with the whole lot of the 0.4 on the reel. Yeah. Um, because you, you get a meter, you can actually do that. Amazing. Um, rather than cutting off a bit and then thinking, oh, I was oh, too I didn't short. have enough. Or, yeah, um, I've wasted it. Or, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you can cut a bit off if you're not confident and having it all. It is nice and soft, so you can ha keep it all kind of rolled well, that's up it. if you that's want. That's it. Keep it nice and wound up and just have it in the palm of your hand and work with it, can't yeah. you? I think um, over half that stock has already gone. So um, I think that's amazing, isn't it? But yeah. I'm not surprised when all of that, the two strands of pearls, the rose quartz, the four lots of wire, yeah. uh, and also the two chains as well, um, at 42.95 when you had it sort of sort of pugged at about 80 yeah. pounds. Yeah, I mean the thing about that chain is amazing, it looks great, I mean one of the pieces is just three bits of rose quartz on that chain. Amazing! <gasps> it is just delicate. Oh, so beautiful! So on this one here, You've just used that beautiful chain and then yeah, just then dropped three of those rows and it looks in the middle. Easy. Yeah. Um, so what I've done that with 0.4 through the ends of the wire, um, and it, it's really kind of understated and simple and delicate. It's, it's still very glamorous, I it think. It is. It is. But that chain is very glamorous. Yeah, that's it. Let that's that, what let makes that it. do the work for you. Exactly. Uh, it doesn't have to be difficult. Yeah. So I'm now I've just attached uh, the 0.4 three times to one of the one mil okay. pieces. I'm just holding the second one next to it. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to pull it because it's come from a, it's going to go over the top of that one. Yep. I'm picking up the next one. Yep. I'm going to just slot it in my hand there. 
and then the wire will be going underneath this one it's the basket weave so you're going under over under over I'm just going to pick the next one up just going to slot it in this is how I work um, at home so you have to I keep my hands kind of flat and steady like that so we're going making sure each time you've gone under the previous one you go over the next one and then we're going to put the next one in so you have all six now this is the most Amazing. fiddly bit yeah obviously is that because you've got to hold them all there yeah because once you've got them um, wrapped once or twice it's fine yeah but you're trying to keep it kind of equidistant but don't worry too much okay because as you get to the end you see I'm going under that one so you're literally just sort of in. almost doing a running stitch yeah. aren't you over yeah, the top yeah, and basically. under yeah basically that's all you're doing so it's not a complex weave you're just going under over under over and then you're going to go around the end one and I'm pushing it up nice and firmly you see that's why my nails are always like that <laughs> push it up you've gone all the way around and now you're going to go back the other way yeah but um, it'll be I've gone do you need to make sure that you go the opposite, opposite way, way to where you did before yeah so when where we've gone we're going to keep going so where you've gone over. under yeah. you want to go over and and then just keep going like that so okay. I just picked my hands up there we go, right. which isn't very useful but there we go and you see there's sort of wires poking everywhere at the moment yeah but we're just going to do that a little bit and you can see as you start to do this yeah. it becomes r a lot firmer i'm going to go all the way around once at the other end yeah and then it's going to keep it all nice and neatly in place and then you go back again and you go sure back you go going the other way so yeah. it's like if you're weaving if you've ever done willow basket weaving yeah anything like that it's exactly the same thing just with wire and you can see that this if i just move my hands along because because it's on here it's not getting all tangled up but because it's beautifully soft, it's also not pinging off everywhere. No, it's not, is when it? When you've got a harder wire, if once you um, undo the thing on that, it's going to go bing. bing it's all over the go place. Everywhere. So you don't actually have to worry about that with this, which yeah. is really nice, but it also means you don't have to uh, worry about not have, you know, using too much and having, you know, if you cut too much off and then you do a weave and then yeah. you're left with maybe six inches and you're oh, like well, what am I going to do with that exactly but I put it, what I a waste actually, I put it in my scrap pot or I'll use it to attach something else it's yeah like, there's no such thing as waste silver you can always find a use so I'm just absolutely go when it's down. such a precious metal you don't want to be going yeah. oh I'll just put that in the bin <laughs> no you don't never put it in the bin <laughs> never put it in the bin you can actually some places will buy your scrap off you oh will they yeah you oh, can that's get, really good to know yeah you can get scrap pots and you can fill them but you've got to make sure that everything that goes in there is sterling is exactly the same yeah. yeah or they'll they'll re reject the whole pot so you have to be careful what you put in there yeah so yeah you're going to keep going till you've got about a centimeter of this so we always like a bit of a long weave don't we there's nothing quite like watching paint dry <laughs> <laughs> While you do that, I'm yep. going to just recap. Can we just recap what we get what in this kit? Doing? Just while we're doing, just doing a little bit of a weave. Yes. Uh, so in that kit, we get uh, an entire meter's worth of sterling silver oval link chain, three by two mil. Then you get an entire meter's worth of the snake chain, which is that very decorative but very sort of delicate chain. Uh, that's one millimeter. Then you've got the sterling silver wire. They get a meter of every single gauge, and the gauges go from 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and one mil. Uh, you then got 25 carats worth of rose quartz and they're plain rounds but they graduated uh, like we saw in your beautiful necklace here where you've used just three of them we've got the larger one in the center and two smaller ones on the outside they're lovely to be graduated they go from two to four mil uh, then you've got the white cultured pearl nuggets and they are two strands one is eight by nine uniformed and then the others go from six by seven to nine by six millimeter um, we should have been nearer the 70 pound mark but we're not at 42 and 95 I think it was 67.55 uh, I think a one mil wire is 11.95 just on its own amazing so you're getting four of those wires, two chains, pearls, rose quartz, incredible. Uh, so do check that out because 42 and 95 is a little bit ridiculous, I think. It's a good price, it mm. really is. Now, you can see that I've just started fanning out the top a bit. Um, I'm going to That's fan nice. it out a little bit more. Um, and now I have, well, I've done about half a centimetre. It's up to you how long you want to do yep. this basket weave for. And if you splay it out here, it will start splaying out as you weave. Of course. Or you can hold it all together and it will be a really tight weave. Yeah. Again, you can take it whatever way you want. But you can see already it's looking quite striking. It is very striking. And you, so 
you don't have to be absolutely amazing at wire work to use sterling silver, but make sure you, you play to your strengths. Absolutely. Um, practice. The other thing to do is practice with, if you've got a design in mind, try it first in your, in your base metal and your copper, yeah. and then do it again in your sterling. Um, so that's if you're worried, because I know a lot of people have bought sterling silver and they're worried yeah. because they don't want to actually take that step. Yeah. And it's a big deal, isn't it, when you foot do your first piece? I think piece. so, yeah, I so, think so. You know, have, a, have a little practice yeah. or even start with just something simple like the snake, but we'll just... So when I've got to one side here and I've decided this weave is long enough, you yeah. can see that's nice and... Um, that's, you know, it's nice not, structure to it, it, hasn't it's it? It's not waving around. Um, I'll probably, at this point, I'll just... I'll bring in the hammer and I'll just hammer it flat. Now what you want to do is to make sure when you're hammering that you don't hammer where you've woven. Yeah. So we're going to to just hold that there on the edge and then I'm just going to bring my little hammer and I'm going to do, just going to hammer it. And you might think, well, I haven't actually, I haven't actually um, bent the edges yet or anything like that. So why am I work hardening it now? Well, actually, it doesn't matter because it is so soft. Yeah. When I do this, I know that when I come to make the loops at the end of it, I can still do it. It's just going to make it... When I start weaving here, yeah. what I'm actually going to do is stop it pulling apart so much. Yes, quite. Because then a lot of people, when they, when they weave, and if you're anything like me and you're a bit of a perfectionist, you like to pull it really firm. Yeah. So what happens is these start coming in together. Right. And it, the, the, you, know, you can avoid that by using electrical tape, so you can keep them further apart if you want to. Um, there are various tricks you can do. Hammering it um, when you've got it to more or less where you want it is the other thing you can do. So you're just going to start doing um, the herringbone weave here, which is over and under again, funnily enough because they're all like that, aren't they? Lovely. And then we're going to go round once. So you're just going to weave the outside one. Yep. And then you will do exactly the same on the other side. So you see I'm going over and under and round once. Okay. So I'll do a bit slower now. So I'm pushing it all the way down. Yeah. I'm coming underneath. I'll move that, I'll twist that one out of the way. Yeah. I'm going to come un underneath that one, push it up. Yeah. Go all the way around, yep. pushing it up while I do. And then I'm going to come underneath and then go this again. one. Right, so you're doing a figure of eight. So right. yeah, I'll do that for a little bit. You do that for a little while. Enjoy. Yeah. It's quite therapeutic, I would think. It is therapeutic. You can kind of lose yourself in it. Yeah. And just, just get on and listen to what's on the television because you're always watching your weave. Absolutely. You watch it. While you do that, we're going to do, we've got a sterling silver findings kit, which you have used quite a lot in your designs, haven't you? I have, because I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> adding a little bit more detail to it, adding some extra to it. Um, so in here, uh, oh my goodness me, we've got, uh, it's all going, again, all sterling silver, so they're going to look beautiful in these designs and follow on that theme of being a precious metal, which is what you need. You don't want to be sort of mixing the two no. together. You want to stick with sterling silver. So in here we've got uh, silver ball head pins there's 15 pieces I'm scared to move that because they'll fall on the floor <laughs> um, there's 15 pieces and you've got um, thank you very much then we've got there we go see they're gone already we've got 10 crimp covers in there as well uh, then we have got uh, 10 crimps themselves so 10 crimps and 10 crimp covers uh, we've got those shepherd's hooks there's two pairs then we've got fancy cut beads which are so beautiful those you can probably see if I put at the front here because they are amazing. They catch the light so well. And again, you're getting there, look at them. Let's move that, that chain out of the way slightly. I mean, they are beautiful. You've used them quite a lot in your designs, I can see here. Uh, and you are getting 10 of those as well. 10 of those, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Um, then you've got the fancy earring posts and butterfly backs, which are beautiful. You've used those in your designs as well. And uh, then we have got a heart. Oh, let's have a quick look at that, and then let's have a look at the heart chain. That's got that beautiful drop at the bottom. Uh, I think with a pearl, which is what you've done, isn't it? As well, I, I think. think. One with no, I don't. Oh no, rose you quartz. did rose quartz with them. Oh, those, those. Um, there we go. There you are. So you've done one of each. You get one pair of those in there. Just an alternate designs for you. Oh, then. Well, I like oh, them so yes. much. I had to use them all. Absolutely, <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. Then we have got, oh, this heart chain is so cute. Isn't it? I would definitely have this as a little bracelet and have charms off it. Yeah, that's what I did with did the Did you pearls. do the same? Yes. yes. So 
So I did one with just pearls off it, but it looked lovely with you could do because it is so delicate. Have ti one tiny rose quartz dangling off that. Oh yeah. Um, obviously, I went bigger with the pearls because it's going to be on screen. But if uh, you know, delicate um, with the rose quartz would look amazing. Yeah. But that that could be for your daughter, or you know, um, it could go for teen, or it could go for grown up. You yeah. could do either, you see. That's Absolutely. What I was trying to say. Quite bad. Thing. Absolutely. Um, and also, we've got open jump rings. Um, we've got toggle cloth in there as well. My goodness. we The jump ring size is, um, they're the five mil. They're the five mil. So they're nice and very, they're small. They're quite difficult to get hold of, I believe. Are the five mil? Yeah. I'd like to make, but this is the thing, because you've got this kit as well. Um, you've got those three beautiful close ones and you can make your own with um, jump rings with the, with the, wire, the wire as well itself. which is what I did which is why I bought, I bought my knitting needle at all because <laughs> I was not to knit it off the scarf because it's cold no it no. is quite cold mm. but you know I actually I make my own jump rings yeah. so um, quite a lot uh, but it's so much easier when you have them already made <laughs> amazing so how many pieces are we getting in there uh, I think 45 pieces 45 pieces And it's twenty four eighty five. <laughs> fifty seven pieces, fifty seven pieces. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness, we're not stopping there. Nineteen ninety five. Oh. I love those beads. They're amazing. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, I absolutely love these. They catch the light. Oh, don't they just? They look like it's the sophisticated glitter balls. That's what they do. They do, and they, they do catch the light. Look, I mean, look at them. They catch the light so beautifully. All of that, and it's sterling silver for £20. I think that's crazy. That's really good. The heart chain is amazing. It's so gorgeous. We've got the, you, we can just see here, this is the heart chain design with those pearls as little drops on their little charms. Um, oh, it, question, can I use the wire to make findings? Yes, you can. And once, once I've got through this, I'll show you how to make the, uh, how to make the one I thought was in the mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. So we'll, do, we'll try and do that as well but you can see I mean there's not an awful lot involved in this design to be honest that I'm doing here for you now. Amazing. I shouldn't say that should I? Sammy <laughs> lovely designs can you fix a jump ring in the dainty chain for the clasp or are the holes too small? You can't get the jump ring through the chain but you can get the 0.4 mil wire through there and you can get beading thread through there. Perfect so then you can so, attach a yeah. jump ring after that. So the, the pearl design with the double drop at the back yeah. is all done with beading thread. Is it? That's all beading thread. The double drops beading thread at the back. That's all beading thread. That's the clasp that comes with it. The jump ring, and you see, oh, it's got caught around the hook a bit there. But yeah, it's um, that's all done with the beading thread through there because I wanted people to see. You know, you don't have to be. A, you, it's simple to use. A little bit of beading thread. You just got to be able to crimp. And Amazing. I think pretty much all of us can crimp. Even I can crimp. Yeah, so we can crimp. You don't have to fold your crimps over in a fancy way either because the crimps are nice and small. Squish them flat with squish your use all on pliers. Yes, quite, <laughs> yes. Squish That's away. That's why they're amazing for crimps. Squish crimp. away. Squish right. Crimp. You appear to have done a lot of weaving there. I have. Well, it looks like a lot, but it's not. I haven't gone very far up here. Again, yeah. this is just more about keeping the two end ones. Uh, what do I want to say? Solid. That's yeah. what I want to say. So I'm really so having a great. So <laughs> it. Yeah. So now here, because you've got graduated rose quartz. Yeah. You can just pick up. You pick up your smallest ones. If you were, if you were wise, and I'm not, I didn't have them all laid out. But you, you go through in pairs. So yeah. you pick up I'm a pair of you them, out. and then you want a pair. They're they're similar size, aren't they? Oh, yeah, it's a bit smaller. smaller. So you want a similar size ones. There we go. Got it. And then you would do this. So you pick up, yeah. when you finish your weave, you leave a little bit of wire hanging off. We've got a couple of inches each side. So we're just going to thread the smallest one on. And I do keep them in, I'll just bring them in shot because I was having them in pairs of two small ones and two bigger ones, you see. So I know which side I'm, you know, what I'm going to do. So I'm yep. just going to thread that on there. Oop. So and that's on the wire that you would It's on the wire, the with. end of the, wo yeah, the weaving wire. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go all the way around the outside once to anchor it in place. Yeah. 
and then um, if you want you can go a couple more times so it's up the next but you can just do a zigzag across the back and then go to a slightly bigger one <coughs> like that you don't have to do any way they do excuse my hands today shaky mm. shaky today and then we're going to go and you can see that even though it's rose quartz you would think you can't get away with having a zigzag across the back but you can yeah you can can't you, you? Can get away with it and you can push that up really nice and tight and then I'm going to hold that in place with my thumb and you can see actually where I have broken my nail and I can't cut that off because it's so right down to the quick look ow 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 ouch I know so if you've got any tips on what I can do <laughs> to stop that spreading across there because that really do hurts. you know what I would really <laughs> like to know because I do that all the time and I end up with a nail that looks like about like starts off here and ends up like this because I like I just take a, more off. I take a bit more off take, take a bit more off yeah like, ah! it is so I've gone across again I'm just gonna add. and you just keep going with bigger and bigger and bigger ones across up there and then you can end with this image it's up to you if you want to start putting pearls in or what have you yeah so you can just mix it up you can mix it up but the basic thing is basically just six wires like that together it's not really a complex design someone someone says super glue and it runs through the gap Oh. I would imagine that na two people said that. Would it nail glue, super glue it? Chance is the same. Uh, I wonder if nail glue works the same. I have, oh yeah, probably. Another one, super glue and file it down as short as you can. Oh my goodness, amazing. Right. Thank I'm going to do you. that. Thank you. I should be doing that when I get home. Yeah. If they haven't got any. And then file it so it's flat. You watch me catch it on the car door as I get outside. Oh. <laughs> Before you even get a chance. Right, yeah. <laughs> Taking the lid off the super glue. Ah. So you do that this side. And then for the middle, you're doing the same thing again. You can either weave halfway up. Yep. And then continue. But, or you can just start with the really tiny beads here and then go up to maybe a slightly bigger pearl and then a really big pearl across the top. Yep. Um, and you can see that although they're all the same size, these at this end, what I'm going to do first of all is make sure at the bottom they are all, it's all kind of even and flat, you know, because it moves up and down in the weave. So you want yep. them all to be similar length. You can pull it down if it's not. And then I'm going to get the end of my round nose pliers and make the smallest loop possible. So if you have a nice fine set, that would do, except if I haven't got them out of my bag, which Can is I help? really useful. <laughs> um, they're probably in the bottom of my bag, yeah. Oh, this bag? Yeah, you lift up my bag. Have a little, have a little rummage in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is good TV, isn't it? <laughs> you were looking for my, my round nose pliers. I bet you're the one my dad. I can't go and get, get them from there. Get them from there, can you? No. Are they? They're not on here, are they? They might. Be. I'll find them afterwards because I would have got them out. But I'll use these ones. Yeah, sort of. you're good. We're back. So anyway, yes. But nobody noticed, did they? That was all good. Seamless. Seamless, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to use the very end of my pliers, and I'm just going to. It would be easy with my round nose ones, but yeah, I'm going to use the as better. Perfect. I like this because you can actually squidge a really good Yeah, you shape. can, can't you, as you go. But because I'm, I'm going to use just the end, I'm going to know that, and you can hear me slipping it off, but that's because I want to use just the end. Yeah. And I'm fussy, and I'm trying not to push too much on my thumb. <laughs> um, there we go. And I'm going to do that with each one. I think I think that super glue is the way to go. We've had about because 13 messages saying, yeah. Say, so now we super know. Glue. Now we know. Now we're yeah. all in the know. I love that. Because I, I get that all the time as well, and it's a nightmare. It really is. It is. I can't remember. I caught it, I think, when we were packing down uh, this weekend at Whitby. So, uh, yeah, because I had a, had a stall at Whitby Goth weekend. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just making little loops in, each, in the end Perfect. of each one. Do you pretty. know what? That would be there's a set of round nose pliers just there just in front of your face yeah we're not going to talk about that are we no we'll move past yeah, it we're just going to move on yeah i quite like being your helpful assistant though so that's, that's good. good and i'm going to do three one way and yep. three the other and three way. the other um this is just for decorative purposes and you can see and i'm not worried that they're slipping up and down because what you're going to do in a moment is uh, weave them all together, but not in a complex way. Yeah. So here, you can see at the minute, they're all over the place. Yeah. And that's fine. Because what we're going to do is push them up to where we want them. Yeah. Lay them out a little bit. Get them nice and even. 
And because you want, you don't want your because you're using just six words, and what yep. you don't want is any movement in the final piece. Right. So how you stop that is obviously with another weave. So what you're going to do is just weave these together, and then have. If you wanted, if you've got a little brie drop, you could drop it that from the Ooh, bottom. Oh, nice! Or I'm just going to use a tiny little um, rose quartz. So I'll cut a little bit of sterling wire off here. I'm going to go through the little hole and hold it nice and tightly with my fingers and go around three times. And then I'm just going to go twice through each one like this. So I'm going to wrap it around three times the end. So when you do use the end, make sure you've left enough room to do that. Yep. But you will have anyway, because you've managed to get your round nose pliers through it. Yeah. So now I'm just going to go down through the second one. Yep. I'm just going to put that together twice. Okay, okay. You can see, now I've just done this around my finger, and that's just to help stop it kinking. I do that yep. an awful lot. But you don't really have too much of a worry with this, because you can see how soft it is. Yeah, it's just got great movement to it. It has. So just push that up through there. While you finish off that, I can mm -hmm. have a little quick look at these. Okay. Oh, so we've got uh, another silver findings kit for you. Um, but this time in here, we have got some beautiful bolt class and we have got um we've got some eye pins as well some eye pins as well so uh, large bolt ring class you're getting two of those two of those they're so decorative that that's got oh, like that's a really lovely. um sort of nautical look to it it really does it's very nice that's gorgeous so you've got the slider clasp on the and at the bottom look at that that's great. You can get good thread through there. They're yeah. great for like knotting your pearls and things like that. Yeah, they're so gorgeous. They're amazing. And then your eye pins as well. So you're getting 20 eye pins. They're 2 mil in the eye and 40 mil in the length. Uh, and then you've got the class themselves, two of them, 24 by 12 mil. They're absolutely stunning. I love how decorative these are. These are really, really gorgeous. They're nice and heavy duty, aren't they? Yeah. So they just move just like that. Hmm. They're really easy to move as well. Yeah. Oh, for just eight ninety-five. <laughs> Sometimes I get scared to say it because I'm like, whoop, there it is. <laughs> eight ninety-five. I think that's amazing. And I always go <laughs> before the price comes in. I'm like, yeah, they've said it to me. I know I can say it, but. That possibly be right for sterling silver. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if it's one of those clerical errors. I know, that's it, yeah. So we've got 895, two of those large bulk glass, which are so beautiful and look to me very nautical. Really mm -hmm. nautical. They're stunning, absolutely stunning. They look a bit easier to get hold of than the smaller clasps, actually, yeah. around the back of your neck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we, all st we can all openly admit, I think, that we'll struggle a bit with these clasps sometimes. Uh, but I think these are amazing, and they've got a real, a real hold to them. They're gorgeous, really beautiful. Um, just eight ninety five, eight ninety five. You're getting two of these plus the eye pins as well, and you're getting twenty eye pins. And I think when you're looking at sterling silver, when you're working with sterling silver, you want them to be perfect. You want them to be easy to work with. And I can't imagine that you can kind of create your own at any less than that when you're getting the two bulk class as well. Well, it's just about ease of done. the bolt class you can't make yourself anyway. No. Um, but yeah, it's just about making your life easier, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, those are he quite heavy duty bolt class, so I think you might struggle to find some of those for that price. But there you are. That's just me. How, how are we getting on there? We've done well. You can see that I have just woven, and all I've done is put each one of them together twice. Yeah. So two, two, two then through a little um, rose quartz and then I'm just going up the other side. What it means is that no longer moves this side here, no longer moves. Oh, Whereas perfect. you know when you're weaving this that these will still move through your weave. Yeah. So do try and make sure you don't actually um, pull it all the way out but you can slot it back through. Right. We've all done it, we've all done it. So we've all pulled it all the way out of a weave. It's not, it's not, not a funny moment when that happens. No, I can imagine that's quite frustrating. But yeah, so what right, if you can manage to get it back in? But if you bend the wire as you pull it through, you're like, oh no, <laughs> no, no is one of the words you say. I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> so I'm just going to go twice through each one and back up yep. the other side. Perfect. That is it. We're nearly done. 
it's not difficult. You can see that although we've done, um, I've done this pretty much from start to not far off finish. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to take too long to do this design. You can take longer at home and you can take it anywhere you want to go. Yeah. I think it looks quite deco actually. I do I think too. It looks quite vintage. Yeah, very vintage, especially when you start adding pearls and pieces oh, like that to it. Absolutely. So you can see as I've come up through um, this loop, that in order to rather than running a wire underneath here I'm just going to go around the edge of this one twice that's the other thing you can do you can weave all the way around the edge if you choose yeah you don't have to obviously it is entirely up to you how yeah. you do this so and then you will it, it's up to you if you're kind of a neat free what you want to do you could put tiny little um, rose quartz across the whole of the bottom of this if you chose nice, yeah that would also look really oh, lovely. that would look lovely um, what you can do is hang things off there as well so you could use your, those eye pins and just put little things on them hang them off have little charms all the way down yeah depends on you know you can make it as ornate or as plain as you want yeah so this is just the kind of a basis and you take it where you want to go yeah. with it so you've given the skeleton of how to design it how to use it how well, to add some gems in if you want what, what I want people to do is to have the confidence to take that little step and adapt design. Yeah, because that's how we, we all learn by um, tutorials and, yeah. and, and, and um, books and DVDs and like shows like this. Yeah, and then it, it can be that big step to, to just try and adapt. To try, it. you do your own. Yeah, that's and it. And I have people saying to me, "Oh, well, I don't design anything. I just, I just adapt things." And I say, "Well, if you're adapting it, that's the first step in the design absolutely, process." Absolutely, absolutely. There's absolutely nothing wrong with taking a tutorial and go, well, "I want to do this with it," because and just that's do it. great. And just trust your instincts a little bit, um, and you can you can just go for go for miles. So absolutely. that's why I always say when I'm doing something, I'm always saying. Just um, you know, take your. Pr you could do this or this one. Take it your own directions. Yeah, look. There they are. Now you see, I can get them in really tight, and because I've got a little gap here, yeah, I can actually put them in. That's Ooh, how small they are. Wow. I can actually put them in like that, and, they and then are close amazing. that up. They are absolutely, absolutely fine. And then well, the other thing you can do is, if you're not, if you don't have nails to push up your thing, is you can very, very gently. And I mean very gently, squeeze your wow. little wraps together like that, and it just neatens everything up. I know we can't get any closer with the overhead camera than that. No. But so we're pretty much finished. You just add whatever stones you want to the middle and start kind of splaying it out however you want. And in order to get, because you're thinking they're all the same size, yep. but what you have, you, uh, you can either use your round nose pliers and you mark different areas of the round nose pliers yeah. that you're going to do or because you've got three we're going to do one two three so we're going to do this one the third one i think is i did the outer one with the biggest the bigger one yeah so these are my six step bailers you've got all sorts of ones you can use or like i say knitting needles i like to use knitting needles. what great idea as well so unusual well i think all of us crafty people use um pretty much anything for a mandrel i think we're it's not anything proud. you've got to have yeah, yeah anything <laughs> you've got to have well anything and then you you think right i know i did that design with this so the beauty of the bit of the bait plot is obviously you've got them all in in one place yeah so you don't have to worry uh, rummaging around your kitchen yeah <laughs> well no, i've got a big pot actually i've got a big pot that's full of different mandrels. Now what you can see is I've actually done three on this side so in order to make the bend a bit further I'll just it looks like I'm weird I stroke the one so I'll stroke <laughs> it while I'm bending it and that's one of the reasons that my nails are like that. <laughs> so we stroke and it, what it's actually doing is you're evening the pressure up. Perfect. So I'm yeah. very gently pushing on this while I'm stroking it to eat and I'll find that you can see that's a little bit hasn't curved quite the same so I just add a little bit more pressure on I will spend hours I could do an entire DI on making a single curve wow because I'm quite um, yeah quite fussy is the one word while well, you're in but yes so that's it and then I'll just do the other you side. do the other side and we're gonna do we're gonna do these beautiful wires here so um, to know that you can get obviously in the sterling silver which you're working with here but if you want that silver look but you want the copper wire so it's copper wire but silver coloured uh, we've got uh, the 1 mil 0 0.8, 0 0.6 and 0.4 now uh, I had these the other day on the late show and they just flew 
they were so incredibly popular so incredibly popular and um, so beautiful so 10 meters in each which is phenomenal amount and you have got again the 1 mil 0 0.8 0 0.6 0 0.4 which means that you can create very sort of structured pieces if you want lots and lots of detail if you want to these two tend to be the sort of go-to wire gauges the 0.8 and the 0.6 don't they yeah, I, I use 0.8 and actually 0.4 most of all. Yeah. Um, 0.6 is fabulous for tiaras and um, you can do Viking nets, you can do Perfect. all sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely and great to have the structure of the one mill I was thinking. Yes. You want those big sort of statement pieces or just want maybe a torque necklace or a structure for a cuff or mm -hmm. anything like that. These are absolutely perfect. So, so great to have in the same color exactly the same color all these different gauges because you know that you will be able to use these either in one piece like we said or in very separate piece totally up to you but knowing that you've got 10 meters in each gauge mm -hmm. of the same color it's just perfect so 10 meters in each 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and one mil should be 1680 he should be 1680 which I think for 40 meters of wire pretty good but we're not doing that are you 1195 wow perfect oh my goodness 1195 1195 for 40 meters of wire in those four different gauges for you so four different gauges four we've only got 50 of them Whoa. Hmm. Oh my goodness me. So many of you with it. Wow, yeah, loads of you in the new basket, people are multi buying. So if you do want these, you've got to be quick, I think. Gotta be really, really quick on these. It's our most popular colour and those are our most popular gauges. Yeah. So yeah. I, it will just shoot. Yeah, it's will. going. It's on the way. Nobson Hartshire multi buying, Nancy, Anne, Leslie, Gwyneth, Claire, Helen multi buying, Chris, Isabel, Kathleen, Sheila, June, Karen, Heather, Jane, Geraldine, Eileen News has just gone through. Say half the stock's already gone. Wow, there we go. So, uh, yeah, keep checking out. I so don't want you to miss out on those because these are amazing. At eleven ninety five. It is, yeah, it's oh, really, really yes. good. I love the fact that it's e-coated as well, so yes. you don't have to worry about it, you know, coming um, off. Yes, yes, that's, that gives your designs that bit of a more long-lasting thing. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Even if you just do it as a hobby and it's just for you, you don't want yeah. them to be get these beautiful designs but, that you and make pra and practice. So yeah. if you're yeah. so, so if you want to do, if you've got the kit and you want to do these designs, but you're like, I'm not really sure, so practice in the, practice with the silver plate, mm -hmm. and then you'll still have a piece that you can, can wear. wear, and then do it again in the, in the silver. silver. Or you can have a piece for display, because you might not want to have a display piece in sterling, people handling it all the time, blah, 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 or have, you know, you're worried about it tarnishing yeah. or whatever, it should, it, but you know. Um, so you might want to have it in, done in plate and say, well, of course I can do that in silver. Yeah, and it would be any colour that, that you a want. a display piece. Yeah. But blah, blah, blah. So yes, it's, um, it's quite an important thing to have, I think. Perfect. Has that sold out? <laughs> wow, so you can't hang them out, can you? You can't. With, when it comes to silver plate, a couple of wire, you can't. No. It's also, uh, the, the wire you get here is, is so soft. It's so soft. Yeah. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, just while we're finishing it up, we've got um, that kit is now back on screen. Just to reiterate what we had in the kit for you, uh, we've got the sterling silver oval link chain and the snake chain. Uh, so that's a meter of each one, a meter of each one. And then we've got the sterling silver wire, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and one mil. Um, beautiful to have all those. There's a meter in each one for you. And again, sterling silver, 25 carats for the rose quartz two to four mil graduated on a 28 centimeter strand and then the white cultured pearl nuggets one strand eight by nine and six by seven to nine by six in the second strand now we've got 30 people with it in your baskets and we've got 20 pieces left so someone's going to miss out don't let it be you yeah there's loads of you loads and loads of you with it in your basket so check that out because we don't have enough for everybody and i can't even see the telephone line so um do check those baskets out <laughs> So I'm just hammering. Hammering away. away. Like having a you lovely saw, afternoon. I've <laughs> I got bored. I thought I'd hammer. <laughs> Please do. I mean, it's a great idea. So the, the thing about it is you can, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that really very well. If we could, if I can hold it up maybe to that other camera, maybe we'll see that. Um, can you see how it's sort of flattened out a bit and you've got yeah. some lovely little the detail Amazing luster, isn't it? What an amazing luster it you get is. from silver. 
Well, you don't have to worry because it is solid silver. It's not your plate's not going to come off when no. you're hammering it and everything. And now you've just work hardened it, flattened it. You've got a little bit of detail to it when you do that. If you use your, the other end of your your um, ball hammer, then you're going to get fabulous faceting going Ooh. on across it, which looks great as well. So I absolutely, I do, I love to hammer my silver. I have to say, and it's a very therapeutic thing to do as well. So we yeah. are actually pretty much done with quite simple and you can see that is not a difficult design to do really it's very simple just using six wires you haven't used an awful lot of wire at all and you've created something that you can hang lots of chains off or you can do whatever you want that's um it's very cute beautiful so, so how did you finish it off you just sort of I just curved them round and I just, the wire. just curved the, I've just basically I've just curved them round and then I just threaded the chain through and closed the loop that's gorgeous. It's really quite, and it, you know, it's because you've made your own loops there. So once you once you close them up, now you've hammered them. Yeah. They're going to stay where you put them. Yeah. So they're not going to come off. So you can just use that to have um, to have chain on, or you can put different size beads across the whole top of them. You know, and just have it from there. If you wanted to suspend it from the middle, you could just um, maybe wire a jump ring into Ooh, there and use that as the nice. bail. The wire a jump ring, another jump ring through there, hang it off a chain. Perfect. So you didn't, wouldn't have to use these. As, but then, you know, if you're using Absolutely. the loops, if you're using the loops, then you're oh, not having to faff. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's very true. You could have lots thought. of chain there. There's as well, so much. You? You, yes, you could do a big multi-strand, yeah. or you could do multi strands of pearls with it oh. hanging down there. Oh, there's so, so many could, ideas. There's so many ways you could take it. I, I love that you've given the structure. Now take it and run with it. Yeah, but yeah. I think that's it's important for people to learn to do that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Can we have a little look at the final design? Of course. Um, and in, in here you've got the the pearls in the top and two of those decorative. Um, balls that we yeah. had in the sterling silver kit as well. Yep. So the findings kit. That's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So keep checking out. I can see lots of you already have. We've probably got about 15 left now, have we? Yeah, about 15 left. So I think I've seen more people check out. Um, so I can see about still about 25, 30 of you with it in your basket. So keep checking out. I know I've had telephone call lines uh, come through as well so keep checking out uh, this that's amazing thank you so much as that is beautiful ah so gorgeous uh, this is a little taster <laughs> of the next one. Oh, oh my goodness is all i'm going to say about that <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful sorry say that again Oh my goodness, so we're going to be doing another kit. This is going to be the, the next designer inspiration with those beautiful yeah. cabochons in. You should put that on a white bus because that um, that's an amethyst and it's stunning. We will do that. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> and that whole kit's going to be under £30, so I definitely don't go anywhere. Okay. Definitely don't go anywhere. Uh, thank you so much. That's You're amazing. Um, amazing. That is stunning. Really, really beautiful. Are we going for a break? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Let's do it. We're going to go for a short break, but do not go anywhere because I don't know about you, but I really want to learn how to create such a beautiful piece as this. So don't go anywhere. We've got that kit coming up after, uh, in about half an hour, that's going to be less than £30 for you as well. Wow. Amazing. We'll see you okay. in a join guest designer Laura Binding on our intermediate wire work course. The aim of the course is to enhance your wire work skills and take your designs to the next level. You will learn more advanced weaving and binding techniques which you can incorporate into your jewellery. The full course includes a selection of gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a copy of the wire work tutorial DVD edition 3, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £79.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you.
it's the versatility. You can do anything with wire work. You can, you can make very delicate pieces. You can make huge, great big structural pieces. You've got so many different gauges to use. And we've got the twisted wire. You've got all the colors in it. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, if you go on the website, the range of, of products you've got in the wire, it's phenomenal. You've got something for everything. So if you're doing very delicate jewelry and you can make it so, so delicate with the 0.25 wires for wrapping, or you could do something like me with a big structural piece and you're using the 1.5 and the 1.25 wires for your frames and then all the ranges in between. It, it's just, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> I love it. It, it. it is, it's fantastic. Um, you can keep going forever. You can do whatever. The, there's nothing that you can imagine that you can't make out of wire. Not that I've found yet anyway. Join the incredibly talented guest designer Alison Tarry in her very first wire sculpture DVD. In this edition, you will learn all the skills needed to create fabulous scroll work designs, including a decorative bell, wire booties, and an ornamental box. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call center. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. If you'd like to wish Jewelry Maker a happy fifth birthday, download our Jewelry Maker Viewers Voice app and record your own video message that could be shown during our fifth birthday celebrations. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker! And welcome back to Design Inspiration. My goodness, what extraordinary pieces. So exciting. And well done if you've managed to grab those. So, so many of you there. There's still people with it in your basket. So do check that out. As I think I would really want to look back over this and sort of stop and play and stop and play and really be able to get those gorgeous designs because they are so, so stunning, so stunning. Um, we're going to give uh, Sammy a challenge in just a mo. Should we have a quick look at the next Designer Inspiration coming up? Let's have a little look at this amazing Amethyst Cabochons. So, whoa. So right on that white background. Look at the intensity of colour on those. Oh my goodness. And again, we've got the beautiful wire in here as well. What wire do we have in this kit? So two metres of 0 0.6. Two metres of the 0.4 and one metre of the 0.8 and then got, we're guaranteeing 240 carats worth of beautiful amethyst cabochons. I can't go over the depth of colour, they're so beautiful. Oh my goodness, the intensities of those purples. Wow! Just exquisite. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Uh, we're going to give Sammy her um, challenge in just a mo. Let's pop those back over there. Right, so uh, I can't wait to do that. But before that, let's have a little look at these abalones. Ah, oh, they're so amazing. Now, beautiful flat ovals. Now, it's Mother Nature that determines that these are really eye-catching and really attractive looking. It comes from um, sort of almost like an oyster shell that sort of sits in the bottom of the ocean and it's black on all on the outside as it sits in the ocean. As it opens up, you see these most exquisite colours, most exquisite colours, that rainbow iridescence effect, beautiful patterning and it is natural and it's that that's the enticing bit. It's all that beautiful colour, all that that stunning look to it what we do is take that and put two of them together so you get it doesn't happen in nature we get that double-sided effect and we do that for you so that you are not sort of um, we don't determine your designs you determine your designs and that's why we do them double-sided for you because in nature one side is black one side is that beautiful color but here you'll find it on both sides eight by six mil on these and they are absolutely stunning look at that color oh <gasps> Beautiful abalone. These are just so stunning. Now, Laura Binding made a ring and um, and gave me a ring that had this beautiful, beautiful gem on it. Every time I wear it, people will always ask me what it is, where it's from, how beautiful is that, what a stunning look to it. 
and obviously to do with her stunning wire working and design but because of also because of this beautiful gem so that is that is a first hand I know what it's like to wear this beautiful gemstone it is so gorgeous and absolutely it is mother nature mother nature that determines that this is an attractive beautiful almost sort of draws you in and that's mother nature that determines that because that's what the idea of it is so beautiful abalone flat ovals that go from eight by six and as you can see it is on both sides oh, oh look at it i love it amazing rainbow effect in there those reds purples greens blues pinks just so so stunning people multi buying already abalone flat ovals eight by six mil all for just what 6.95 that's amazing 6.95 they are so beautiful and it is mother nature that determines that they are so beautiful and so attractive and want to draw you in and whenever i wear my mine i always get people say to me oh my goodness where's that from what is that what is it why does it look like that why does it have that sort of effect to it and it's so eye-catching and so beautiful. So you know you're going to have stunning, stunning designs if you make these. Christine, well done. You've just gone through. Stephanie, Carol, and Jeanette, Arlene, Helen, Jane, Alex, uh, Nanita, Julie, Miriam, you're multi-buying. Irene, multi-buying. Uh, Kirsty, Gaynor, Kate, Susan, Helen, Dawn, Nonis from Essex, buying three. Well done. Sarah, you've just gone through. Joyce, thanks for waiting on the phone lines. Uh, Corinne says, my strand arrived today, and it's fab. Goes with turquoise, bronzite, and lapis. Ooh. Hold up. Oh, in fact, I'm going to take the smaller one. Ah, oh, yes, so beautiful. So right, so right. Look at those. Oh, my goodness, that's gorgeous with the lapis. Wow, absolutely stunning. I think the beauty of this strand, though, because you've got all those wonderful colours in there, that you could quite easily put it with anything. I'm going to, oh, goes with turquoise. Let's have a quick look, does it? Oh, oh yes oh my goodness that's gorgeous uh, these go wonderfully with rose gold I ordered earlier this week let's have a little look we have some somewhere oh here they are oh yes with rose gold oh my goodness absolutely oh and that great shout there great shout they're beautiful aren't they so many of you multi-buying well done i'm not surprised at 6.95 because they are so beautiful so so beautiful uh great designs as usual sammy i've used the uh the pliers for years can't live without them uh they're a great tool to have absolutely i don't think i don't think anybody would disagree with you to be totally honest sammy you bought them in you're the one that suggested them we've had three or four designers themselves buying them because this is obviously we've not seen them before this is the first is this the first time we've had them on air first time we've launched them on air we'll have another look at those a little bit later on in case you did miss them maybe Ren just joined us they are so stunning if you've got that um abalone in your baskets do check out because i think 6.95 is incredible for this beautiful strand it's gorgeous um we've got your challenge <laughs> I would be very excited if I was you. <laughs> I'm excited to see what you're going to make. <laughs> Ooh, this is amazing. Now, to see this in as much colour on here, when we sort of see Labradorite, you tend to see the turquoises, the blues and the golden colours. Maybe a hint of the green. It's quite unusual to see red. And I think it's just because it's a smaller bar of light. It doesn't sort of catch on as easily. Oh, my goodness. Some of these are practically just a copper colour. Now, I'm hoping you can see as much colour as I can in these because these are so stunning. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Now, you can see how beautiful this is. I mean, just exquisite, isn't it? Absolutely exquisite. So much colour in there coppers i mean that's what i mean look at that amazing that's practically just copper that's so amazing beautiful gorgeous facets on there as well so it seems to pick up the light at a slightly different angle which is why you get so much more color in there lots and lots of color in there i'm just gonna just spin that because oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that that loads of copper in there almost like a full rainbow in there Oh my goodness, these are just so beautiful. They're huge as well. So we've got Labradorite. These are puffy coins, faceted puffy coins. 
um, they have go from 11 to 17 mil so they're a really lovely substantial size I think that's great that they are graduated like that, I meaning you can sort of create either designs with that graduation or you can create collections, which I always think is amazing. 17 centimetre strand, but what does that mean? You're getting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Oh my good, look at that. Oh, they would make beautiful cufflinks, wouldn't they? Oh wow, yeah, they would. Wouldn't they be stunning? Yes. I wouldn't want to waste them on, a, on, on cufflinks. So. <laughs> I know it sounds horrible. Like no, to, no. I don't wear cufflinks. <laughs> don't you? See, I, I, I would wear cufflinks. Would you? Yeah, I would wear cufflinks. I'd probably wear quite a, a very feminine shirt, but very classic looking, and I would want to wear cufflinks. Or I'd want to attach them. You know how suit jackets are quite popular? Yeah. I'd probably want to attach it Ooh, as a, almost like a button, as an accessory on a suit jacket. You could make your own button for it. Yes, you yes. could. Lovely. Great. So this entire strand of all this incredible colour for what? Fourteen ninety five. These are absolutely huge, and the colour out of these are just it, well, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fourteen ninety five. One hundred and forty five carats worth of stunning labradorite. Oh yes, beautiful. Wow. I mean the colour out of these. So, we've um, got lots of people with it in the baskets. Thanks for waiting on the phone lines. They're just coming through now. Well done to you. Um, right, this is going to be Sammy's challenge. Is that correct? Right, so we've got going to give this entire strand. She's already got one. Yes, already got one of these strands. How very exciting. So, we're going to leave, uh, leave you to work with this. Have you got ideas already? Um, yeah, I'm just going to look at it for the rest of the show. Okay, all right. <laughs> And, and your challenge was? <laughs> Just to look at it. It's this. beautiful though, isn't it? I know, it's it? amazing. Really is? <laughs> Just going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just thread it all on, on a stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> but that That's is it. just how it, it's amazing though isn't it that's what you need to do with it yeah it is absolutely good I think to be honest with you whatever you do with it it's, good, yeah. it's going to look amazing absolutely amazing this is just 14 that's incredible it's incredible price just 14.95 they're huge some of them are really huge yeah, 17 yeah. mil but it's the colours not only have you got all that amazing colour play you've got the facets as well so the whole thing is just absolutely stunning I know I, lo I love when you see love drive fasted or even sort of moonstone or anything like that because as it moves it's a slightly different angle so it picks up a slightly different color yeah it just it's just gorgeous uh, just so gorgeous well done if you managed to grab that quite a few of you still in your basket uh, but we'll have another recap when we uh, have a little squiz and see what you've been up to gorgeous yes an entire meter now I've picked this up quite a lot today already um, and had a little look and see sort of what this will go with and it seems to go with quite a lot of pieces now I'm a massive fan of big statement jewelry but I think the beauty of this is you're going to get any kind of wire through it any kind of jump rings if you wanted to make it a charm bracelet setting uh, we've got an entire meters worth it's rose gold plated look at that over the copper oval link chain and it's 10 by 6 mil 10 by 6 mil this is just beautiful do you think with this sort of chain you can obviously create sort of statement pieces but you can create quite delicate designs as well by sort of toning it down a bit you can or you could do like a multi-chain thing with a finer chain and a thicker chain so you've got nice. multi-textural stuff going on you can do some wonderful masculine stuff with it too yeah um, because you know we do forget about the guys sometimes absolutely so it's nice yeah. to have that um, but yeah it can look if you're just using it as a check with with quite a quite a big pendant on there it would look nice yeah it would, wouldn't well. it? you wouldn't put a tiny pendant on it you put a big pendant yeah on it. But yeah, it looks great. Or you can do um, cha um, charm bracelets and things. Yeah, well. that's what I think because I think you'll be able to get jump rings through there, any kind of wire that you want to use, head pins, anything like that. Be really easy to work with, wouldn't Just, it? Yeah, and it's quite fashionable as well to have quite a big chain with one charm hanging off it. Yes, absolutely. So you could do that. So what, if you just got a rose gold copper or a rose gold sterling silver finding, and um, one of those labradorites through it yeah. and just hang it off the centre of that chain. You've got a really beautiful um, bracelet. Absolutely, yeah, really gorgeous. And matching pendant set if you want. 
it's just it is lovely isn't it great that's so lovely i love that i've never seen anything quite like this our chains tend to be a lot smaller than this they do so it's nice to have that different it one is, as well it is it really is yeah so an entire meter's worth rose gold plated copper oval link chain at 7.95 <laughs> that's a lot of bracelets right there yeah isn't it but I do love to do big, um, I'll do like a multi-chain necklace with, yep. well, with, I'll go with one big one, medium one, and then a small one hanging off. So exploring the texture and the different graduation really of chain nice. as well. Really it looks, nice. it's quite a statement. Then I have like a vintage middle <gasps> and then, uh, yeah, so it looks really good. Love that. But yeah that's gorgeous 7.95 is just perfect I think when you've got an entire meters worth you're right an awful lot an awful lot of bracelets there yeah. although I think because it's so statement you could do you could could you make a ring out of it yeah I don't see why you couldn't I quite like that I don't see why you couldn't or you can do you know what they put the elastic through the chain yeah and then it pulls it all together and that looks quite cool too I can't make those though I did spend two hours trying to make one of those. Oh. But every time, because my grip's awful, I'd get like to an inch oh, off the end no. and I'd Pinch. slip and it ping. Oh, and then no. I just, I said lots of things that are not suitable for, for now. For now. Mm. And uh, threw it across the room. Oh. <laughs> That's the only well, time then. I've had a proper diva drop with over, <laughs> over a stretchy <laughs> with chain. But because I love the look of it. Yeah. So I really wanted to achieve it. Yeah. Nope. No, Joy. Nope. <laughs> Ooh. Never 7 95 That's amazing. I love that. For an entire metre's worth. Like I say, we don't normally see those larger chains, so uh, now's the time to grab it. We're doing 7 95 Whoop. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Ooh, that's a good one. And, oh, perfect. Right. So, in here, I have to say, I have a collection of these, and I love them, and they're really interesting, and they're great to work through, and I think whether you know exactly what you're doing, it's great for ideas, or if there's a new medium for you, that you can sort of sit and work through it, and like you said, you can look at a design and make it your own. You can get the sort of structure of it, the basic idea of how to do it, whether it was like the other one, it's how to do all the weaving, and, and sort of put, put gemstones in it while you're weaving. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. We have got chips and nuggets with wire. Yes, one of my favorites actually. Then we have got wire work edition two. So we've got charm rings, wire wrapping, findings, bracelets, squiggle bracelet. That sounds like that would be my favorite. Then we've got motifs. That's lovely. That would that would be really nice off that kind of bracelet, wouldn't it? If you made a bracelet out of the chain that we just had and drop a motif off. Then we've got in the mix. In the mix, and we've got oh, there's a real mix in there. We've got polymer clay, wire work, macrame, and jewel enamel. That definitely is in the mix. And then whoop, for men. <laughs> for men. Slipknot railroad bracelets, leather and metal, a cuff is a cuff, indeed it is. Wrap bracelet and ball chain bracelet, so you're getting five of them. Five of them, that is absolutely perfect. So, um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Lots of different designers giving you lots of inspiration there for sure. Uh, I know that there's Rachel and Iris and Gemma Crows is the motifs. Um, beautiful in the mix, so you've got five. Ah, oh, there you go, there's a little a bit of a taster. They're gorgeous. Wow. And I think once you've got an idea of how to do a certain sort of a way of doing it, then you can just incorporate it into any shape and size and design. Yeah. Um, it's really useful way of, uh, of learning things. Um, just I, I learned from going through a book, actually, because it's before Jewelry Maker. So yep. since then, finding DVDs and finding video, because I didn't know there was YouTubes and anything yep. when I started making jewelry. So since then, I've been able to really expand it. But yep. you, you take, you know, you make these things and you go through the DVD and you learn new techniques whilst you're making a piece. Yep. And then you, you kind of begin to develop oh how I can make this yeah. um, I want to do I want to do maybe an elephant or something and you know you think oh I can I can expand this this way and yeah you learn f by doing these you take all of the techniques and you can put them together to do yeah. your own thing it's just invaluable 
I always valuable. I always find these really useful. I'm a really visual learner. Mm -hmm. Like I can't I can't sit and read and take it in. I have to watch somebody do it. And I know quite a few people are visual learners like that. And I think these are really absolutely perfect to be able to do that. Just to sit and watch someone in the comfort of your own home and being able to do that stopping and it, starting yeah. and all that. It's just perfect, isn't it? And as soon as I see somebody do something, it sort of clicks in my brain. I go, oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's a lot easier, I think, um, to watch a DVD than it, or a YouTube uh, than to uh, see it in a book. Yes. Yeah. Although the pictures do work, yeah. um, you're actually seeing whereabouts the, the material yeah. is going, whether it's cord or wire. Yeah. So there is an awful lot to be said for doing these and being able to pause it wherever you want and rewind it and go back and through go that back. bit. Absolutely. And just to make sure you, like, you're not quite sure where it's going and go back through that bit. That's it. It's great. Perfect. So twenty four seventy five is not what we're going to do. Not what we're going to do. Oh yes, we're taking it down to fourteen ninety five. Amazing. So it should be at twenty four. Pretty much a ten pound saving, and that's pretty much getting these and getting these as an extra. I love that. That's so perfect. And they're all so different. That's what I love about it. They're all so different. So from chips and nuggets to a real mix. A real mix, I love that. Where's the in the mix one? There we go. So we've got polymer clay, wire work, macrame and jewel enamel all in one. Mm. Great for men's jewellery. Like you say, they often get a bit forgotten, don't they? Yeah. But great to have men's jewellery. Perfect. Then we've got, um, there we go. So is this in the mix? See, I never really used any of this before, but when I saw it, I'm like, it's really easy to work with, isn't it? It really is. Um, I absolutely adore polymer clay. Uh, I've done a couple of Debbie's courses. Um, she's an amazing teacher. So I absolutely, I, I love, um, when you're doing it in the mix thing, you can look at all the different techniques. Yeah. And put them all together in one thing. Yeah. So you do a bit of wire with a bit of polymer. Yeah. And you're just learning little tasters of everything, which is great. Yeah, really that's, lovely. That's lovely. Look at those. I love it. That's They're so amazing. great. So great to have a real mix of all those different mediums, which is so nice. Oh, um, and Liz. I love Liz. Yes, gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. Fourteen ninety-five. Brilliant. Should have been at twenty-four ninety-five. Seventy-five. Perfect. I'm gonna have one more look at this. So, if you've just joined us, welcome, welcome to you. You may think you may have missed these, but oh no, we're going to do them again. We're going to start with the wire cutters. This is memory wire cutters. Um, talking about how great they are. They've got such a great grip on them. They're easy to work with and you have to have memory wire cutters, don't you? You have to have the memory wire cutters because the memory wire is so tough, so hard that it will blunt your normal cutters. So you have to have these, have to have these and these are just, they're just wonderful. And this is the make that you've bought in. This is the make that you've said, I use these every day this make I've got a couple of pliers for you as well to have a little look at these are just incredible so a hard wire memory wire cutters um we brought these on and about you've got them then when we first came in laura Bynum was doing this morning show and we went look what we've got she was like look what i've got and she had them in her bag uh, then we had um, Fiona, we had Alison Janet and Alison buying them as well when we bought them on. So I think I don't think it can speak any more than that. The fact that great designers that come on the show and show you how to work with pieces are grabbing these. So this is amazing. Seventeen ninety five for the memory wire cutters. Now we did bring them earlier, but we're just going to have a little recap for you. So in case you've just joined us. They're so comfortable. They're really nice to work with as well. They've got a lovely grip. And it's not, it's a nice release on them, isn't it? Yes, it is. They're, just, they're, they're not a, a tough spring like some of them can be really kind of um, forceful. Forceful. Yeah. They're not. It just, wherever you, they're really gentle. And it's a really difficult thing to, 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 to show on camera. Do you feel them? But honestly, once you get them home, you're, you're never going to regret it. They're no. amazing. They, really they feel amazing. Then we had, uh, then we had the tweezer nose plier. Uh, this went even lower to fifteen ninety five. We've only got fifty left, and fifty sixty in the basket. Oh my goodness! Whoop! There it is. <laughs> now these we were saying 
uh, perfect for all that incredible intricate work. Yeah, but they're also, you can squidge a, a thick wire with them, yep. closed too, so it's not just for really fine work because they're really strong. So they're good for a thick wire to squidge too. Yep. It just means you can get into smaller gaps. Yeah. Because we measured the um, the depth of them was yep. half a mil and yep. the width and the width of the ends was 1.5 mil, wasn't it? Yeah. They are because they are so so small. They're amazing. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely fabulous. Perfect. And again, they are per they're, they're they're just perfect for my grip. I kind of they they are my um, absolute dream tool. Yeah. I use them all the time. And I think whether you're doing lots of work or just doing it as a hobby, you want them to be perfect because it's nice to make gifts for people. It's nice for them yeah. to. You want them to be perfect. Well, what, I mean, actually, that would be a lovely present for somebody, wouldn't it? If yeah. you know somebody that uh, that loves their wire work, then grab them a pair. Absolutely, because they are uh, brilliant. They're going to they're the sort of thing. They're like the the uh, beads along cutters that we do. They're the sort of thing that you um, you don't know you need them until you've had them, and yeah. then you're like, how on earth did I manage without them? Really uh, unbelievable. They're gorgeous, yeah, and you use them pretty much all the way through that design inspiration. I use them all the time at home. I use them all the time. Yeah, and yeah. you were the one that brought them in and went, Hannah, uh, Hannah, please, 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 we please, need please. these, please, <laughs> we need these, and I'm, and it just shows how many people have grabbed them, how many people have decided that actually yes, this is what I need to finish off my designs, create those really just it is, and it is that sort of finishing off, isn't it? It is that finishing off, and using them all the way through as well for gripping yeah. and, and the holding and stuff as well, but yeah. They're just fabulous. I can't say enough about them. No, that's it. That's it. And I think it speaks volumes when actual guest designers are buying them as well. And we saw them all tot up uh, on our list. So amazing. Fifteen ninety five for the tweezer nose pliers there as well. Fabulous. Let's, this one, uh, this is our designer inspiration kit that's coming up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. So we've got two metres worth of the point eight. Two, two meters of the point four and a meter's worth of the point six. Yeah. And then guaranteeing, was it, how many carrots was it? 40? 240? 240 carrots worth. Oh, oh, those really amazing cabochons. I mean, the color on those are, yeah. Oh, yes. They're gorgeous. Uh, we had a little sneaky peek. We've now managed to put it on a white, on a white yeah. bust for you. Yeah. Just so oh, it's amazing. We're trying to get the, the, the real deep purple of that amethyst. Yes. That it's got a really lovely saturation of colour, hasn't it? And it has. And if you, you know, when you just, it's just absolutely, they're astounding. The quality yeah. on these amethysts are astounding. Really beautiful. I can't wait to see how to create that. That's, that's what you're going to talk us through, isn't it? It is, can. yeah. We're going to do as much as we can through it. Obviously, I can't show you every single bit, but we're going to go through the whole thing. Stages. As much as stages. Um, so, yeah, that was... <laughs> but I, what I did is I did um, a DI before doing yeah. amber capuchons, and I set them in a different way, but I had that design, and I got asked so many people wanted to see oh, really? that design. So I was like, well, OK, I we'll not bring that... that was that with you, I've with the amber? I, yeah, I've got a feeling, I, the big amber. Yeah, the big amber. Yeah, yeah, I feel that that was me. Yes. Yeah, I feel that that was me. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah. nice that I'm here again. <laughs> yeah, it is. To finish off that. Perfect stuff. Right, what should we do? What should, is it? Oh, I just yeah. want to carry on. We're going to go for a small <laughs> break. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to be doing that beautiful designer inspiration. And we've got some more crazy deals coming up. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a moment. Using your beading wire, simply thread on a lobster claw clasp. Then taking both ends of the beading wire, thread on a crimp bead. Use your pliers to flatten the crimp. Next, thread a bead of your choice onto each side of the wire. Then taking both ends of the wire, thread on another bead. Repeat this process until you have the desired look you want. Here is an example of a finished necklace where this technique has been used.
Today I've been on the Beginner's Wire Work course with Louise and it's been absolutely fantastic. We started off with quite simple techniques in the morning and worked on throughout the day until we got to doing things like making rings, which is the first ring, wire wrap ring I've made successfully so far, onto more um, uh, difficult techniques like the pendant wrapping, which again is my first ever pendant wrapping. Louise is excellent, she has clear instruction. Um, there's plenty of time for her to get around the small class to tell you, to give you personal tuition and tell you where you may be going wrong or give you a, an idea of what you should do with your designs. This weekend, it's Jewelry Maker's fifth birthday. Kicking off with Free Gift Friday, get a birthday gift on orders over £30. Join Carol and guest designers on Saturday for Google Hangouts and Facebook chats. Super Sunday sees the launch of the fifth birthday DVD. Monday is the big day where we'll be launching brand new products. And Last Chance Tuesday will bring you another DVD launch and an opportunity to grab any products you may have missed. All this plus much more, so tune in for Jewelry Maker's fifth birthday weekend. Happy birthday, you crafty lots. Then welcome back, designer inspiration. Uh, lovely to see you if you have just joined us. Um, if you have just joined us and going, well, no, thank you. Uh, my name's Vicky. I normally do the late show, so it's so no I love doing designer inspirations because I do become. I know it probably sounds a bit cheesy, but I do become a little bit inspired. I'm going to be honest, and it's really nice because I'm quite new to all of this. It's really nice to see how to work with different pieces and we're working with sterling silver and how different that is and how the wire moves and works so well with these pieces. So it's lovely. So thanks very much, Sammy. Mm -hmm. Right, we have got in this kit, uh, we have got uh, an entire meter's worth of the 0.8 gauge in the sterling silver. Then we've got two lots of the 0.4, so you're getting two meters of that in all. Then we've got two lots of the 0.6, so again, two meters worth, and 240 carats worth of amethyst in multi-shaped cabochons. Now, uh, I can't get over the color of this amethyst. I cannot get over the colour of this amethyst. It is exquisite. Just the intensity of colour in that is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. When the light catches it, it seems to sort of glow inside those gems. Yeah, there's some actual clarity going on through there. Look, can you see it? Yeah, you can just about see. Yeah. And uh, move yeah, my no. hands out of the way. I mean, they, they're just be they sort of glow, don't they? They really do. Oh, so regal aren't they they're stunning absolutely beautiful so we've got five but you will be guaranteed 240 carats worth 240 carats worth so great to have more of the sterling silver wire definitely especially when you're working with such exquisite cabochons I think these are beautiful lovely depth of color and they really show off each other I think when you put the sterling silver with that the deep intensity of the purple yeah they sort of bring out the best in both pieces don't they yeah yeah, I wouldn't have put, I mean, these are, they warrant the silver. Yeah. Because they're that good quality. And also, they're amazingly well polished. Yes. Because you can find that sometimes, uh, not camera shots from here, but if you get them elsewhere, they can be quite, uh, not quite finished properly. Right. Whereas these are beautifully, beautifully highly polished. Really um, lovely. And I love them. And of course, they're not too deep as well. So you could do so it's like easier um, to work with, yeah, isn't it? sterling silver. You could do two tash mi mix Ooh, nice. up, you know. Yeah, do it all, yeah, really lovely. So a gorgeous designer inspiration. We gave a little bit of a a little bit of a tweak to see what we we're going to have a look at. Forty four seventy is where we should be. Oh, Forty four seventy is where we should be on these. Two hundred and forty carats worth in that cabochons. Uh, we have got <laughs> let's go what's that all about 26.95 that's what we've been told we need to go to but what is that about yeah I know it's um, amazing five meters worth of sterling silver wire in there yeah five meters worth so 
two meters in the point four, two meters in the point six, and one meter in the point eight, plus those beautiful cabochons. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I would have put this at over forty pounds. I thought this was another. You said I thought I had like an eighty pound and a forty nine pound. 95 kit, kit. Because, yeah but so I'm quite pleased that I didn't absolutely <laughs> absolutely that's amazing yeah, yeah. 26.95 for it's what probably somewhere between four and six cabochons I should think but depending on the size yeah it all depends and uh, yeah it depends on because I had different in both yeah and one of them had a most amazing chevron across the bottom oh, of it. It looked absolutely oh, fabulous. lovely. All of them have this really deep intensity of colour, which yes. is associated for me with better quality um, amethyst because I love the deeper purple. Yeah. And, and, and that is what I get requested. Yeah. They want a really dark amethyst yeah. when they are. So for me, that is very, very important. Well, too. I, I think absolutely. I think if you're going to go for the purple variety of the amethyst, and the deep purple of it, you the darker the better, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's yeah. the darker the better. Absolutely, it just adds more value to it. It does. It really does. And they are just, they just. I mean, I'm sitting here, I'm just stroking it because they are just <laughs> fabulous. I know. I'm just, I'm just a bit weird, but we know this. But yeah, they're they're fabulous to hold and just no, play they, with. But that's, but that's sort of a testament. They look amazing when they catch the light right through them. You can see beautiful detail in them and they yeah. do just glow. They really do. And I think you're right. When you see these pieces and you have got such a beautiful finish to them, they are going to feel nice as well. And you want that. They, you're going to be wearing it on your person or somebody yeah. else is going to be wearing it on the person. You want them to feel nice. You do. And it's, yeah, because you, I mean, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I like to just sit and I'll hold my pendant and I'll play with my, whatever I've got on my neck, yeah. I'm playing it's comforting, with. I think, sometimes as well, isn't it? Yeah, when I just don't sit still, so I've always got no, to I, do it. I'm, I'm a bit like that, I'm a bit <laughs> like, I need to do something else now, <laughs> I need to go on. Yeah, so, yeah, if I'm not wrapping something, I'm fiddling with my pendant. <laughs> they, they are lovely, and they do absolutely glow when you look right through them, They're absolutely really glow. These are beautiful. 26.95, crazy. Well done if you've managed to grab that. Half the stock, I think it's already gone. Yeah, that's amazing. Well done to you. Gorgeous sterling silver, and they really stock up on that sterling silver. Twenty-six ninety-five, definitely. Let's go and have a look. Let's finish what we started with those ambers. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm really excited. So we're going to finish up because we did. Yeah, we did the amber, and the amber cabochons were massive, um, but we didn't get th time to finish it all. Well, no. What what it was was I showed a different way of setting yep. them because you know, we had actually less silver in that kit than yeah. So we only had a metre rather than two that's metres right, of the wrapping that's wire. That's right. So I couldn't demonstrate that design because you couldn't uh, because you needed more than needed one metre to do yeah. it. But so many people wanted to know how to do it. So I thought, right, okay, now is that's the time one for a future one, which Absolutely. is great. So we'll we'll do it today. now is the time. Love it. Right. Should we have? Um, this is your. This is the beautiful pendant. So this is you're going to talk us through how to and show as much as you yeah, can. Yeah, we're going to get through as much as we can. Hopefully all of it. Oh, we'll see. Wow. And if you actually lift that pendant up, you yeah. can. You, you'll see as the light goes through it. That's how it. Oh, you, oh, you won't. Yeah, you can. There it just goes. There. You can just see how it glows. Just look. It's it's oh. just such an intense. Oh my god, it's color. beautiful, and it's almost got sort of a swirl of color through it. It, it's God, it's fabulous. It all, you know, it it is so purple that you would think it was it was a man-made. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I know. Yeah, it's, it's almost that, too good to be true. Exactly, but you know it isn't. No, you <laughs> and know that's it's the not. amazing thing about it. I think this one is beautiful. That one, one is amazing as there. well. So is this one. Oh and my so goodness! Are the other ones. But yeah. That is a really gorgeous seat. That, that literally just caught my eye. I was like, just stood here and I was like. It, it looks like a black currant sweet. <laughs> it, do, it looks like it's got a light inside it. it. I don't know if it's the way that, and I don't want to touch it because it's all set and prepped and ready. Oh, but it's, it's not, it's dumped in the corner. I dumped it. in the corner, all <laughs> right then. <laughs> Just blow the illusion, it's fine. <laughs> if you um, were to sell this, yeah. what sort of, on my <laughs> feels like, because the video won't say what about mates rates, but what sort, of, what sort of, if you were to sell this, what sort of price bracket are you looking You're at? You're looking on my store yeah. for something that I've made, uh, that design would be about £80. Pounds. Whoa, amazing. Between 60 and 80. That's it incredible. Depends, but that's a, because that's a really deep, good quality, um, I'm going to say amber then, amethyst, I would, I would retail that one at 80 pounds. And you've still got the three, four, however many cabochons oh, you're going to yeah, have left. you've still got all the other ones left. Yeah. So, and all of your point six were, because I didn't use any didn't point six. Didn't use any of the point six. I made the clasp at the back. 
that was it. Um, that was what I did with the point six point. But <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I, d I could, because I was two meters, I would, did think about um, doing a short section of Viking knit, mm -hmm. which would have looked really good. So if you do a short section of Viking knit um, and make your bail big, and yeah. you can hang it off the Viking knit and then attach a chain Ooh, so you actually nice. have a double. That looks really, really, really good. But actually, I just didn't have time to do the Viking knit. But I so think we it looks did it with, but it as looks amazing like that. that. It does. But the, the beautiful thing about having a big chunky bale like that is that you can put it on a thicker cord. Yeah. You could do it on a thick chain, oh, thicker yeah. cord, or you could do a little bit of Viking knit on nice. that. Nice. Because it, it looks good on either. Yeah. So that, that's another thing when you're doing your end designs to start thinking about how best to display it and, yeah. and what you can do with it. Because some designs just don't suit a heavier cord. Right. Whereas you'll have people that come to you and they'll want something to go on a particular chain they've got. Of course. Now, you, that, you know, I have a lady who comes to me quite often and she has a wonderful, th really thick, solid silver snake chain. It's massively thick and she always wants me to make different, she'll just slide them on and off. Absolutely, so yeah. You have to have Interchangeable. The, so you have to have something that is going to suit that particular chain. So it's another thing to be thinking about when you're starting to do your yeah, designs. Quite, anyway, yeah. that was lecture. So we'll stop. Stop. No, no, it's <laughs> interesting. It's very interesting. So again, I've got the uh, point eight wire here and one of the cabochons, um, and I haven't actually cut anything off yet no. because I want to. Um, I start. You know, you want to save as much as possible. Yeah. So I've just made a little bit of a loop in the bottom, um, and not just kind of by holding the uh, amethyst in place and squishing it around. So I've got some kind of an idea of where I want to cut it because I want to leave uh, about three and an inches here um, so I know now that I can cut this red, m m try and get it as close to the same size Perfect. so that they're both the same yep. and, then, and then you can move that out of the way so um, yeah I just throw things over where it's, it's all right. so I'm taking a bit of time now just to gently form that around the cabochon and, and you're on so the outside soft. of I'm, it I'm actually slightly on the outside but I'm going to make it sit just inside right the back. Okay, okay so we just but initially you're just getting that uh, that shape so the easiest way to make sure it's round is to cross it over and it's so soft as well this oh my god it just moves no, doesn't it, it? if you just bend the end of that you'll see what i mean that is just unbelievable oh my goodness it yeah. almost melts it does it does so that's why you will need to do some hammering oh my so goodness it's, crossed over, it's now sitting because i went to frame that it's just the cabochon's going to sit and it's now sitting on there so what I have to do now is I have to bend this at the top here so I'm just going to use you can use your pliers you can use your thumbnail because it's so soft I want that to be in the middle so I'm taking a little bit of time it's the frame it has to be just so you can't see it but on the edge of the pearl right. where am I saying pearls I mean <laughs> I've got pearls on the brain because so that first kit was, was just so amazing. I know. Yeah, that's it. When I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I got this kit and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. I was like, wait, first, where's my husband? Well, well no pressure there then. <laughs> yeah, Thinking I've got two kits. You go, oh my gosh, it costs 80 pounds. I yeah, need to do what it. What am I going to do? <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, that was that story. Um, so <laughs> I'm so liking these made, stories. <laughs> when I've made the frame, <laughs> because this is the point A, and you could you could do it in the one minute if you got the kit. Sorry, I'm really struggling with this right. now at the moment because it, it, when I put pressure on that, it hurt. Yeah, right. I bet. I'm go now. I've got the frame where it's I want right, it. We know now, though. Super glue. Super glue. I know, and I've forgotten that by the time I get home. So somebody <laughs> please post it on my wall because I will honestly. <laughs> I've got. Three neurological conditions. If the message don't need to go right, you'll come back and just be like that. Super glue, super glue, super glue, super glue, super glue, super glue. Have you super glued it yet? Have you super glued it yet? So yeah, I'm just hammering that where I want it. Yeah. And that's because in a minute we're going to start wrapping the cabochon onto there. Okey So you don't have to worry about if you make little marks in that at all. Apart from the fact that it looks great faceted, you're not going to see it. Right. So this is the back, and then just double check you've got it where you want it um, and the reason for doing it is I mean if you want you can actually wire wrap a scroll in the back if you're worried about it falling through it falling through it shouldn't do if you you know um, if you've got the right sizing it should be fine but if you can get away without doing that you're actually allowing light through of course you are which is really really important what when you, you have yeah. a, a good quality stone with a little bit of clarity yeah so what we're going to do now 
is because if you started then doing your netting around a cabochon this would be opening and it would give you all sorts of trouble so you're actually going to start and we haven't actually hammered this bit you'll notice mm -hmm. there is a reason because we were bending that over in a bit okay um you want to start you'll need a longer piece than this so if you well basically you have two meters of the 0.4 yeah so if like on the first designer inspiration you can work from the reel with uh, one of them for the bail and you can work on the, from the reel for the other one for the netting do you see what i mean yeah um because one meter isn't too much of a um impractical size so i'm just wrapping one of the wires three times and then i am basically just going to go about three or four wraps yep. of doing i mean you could wrap them entirely together if you want but i'm going to do the hourglass because that's what i did for the center of this bail right it is all one way from big bail so we're going under and over and pushing up neat each time now to get a really neat finish you have to do that you yep. have to make sure each time you push it up you're pushing it up really really firmly so take do take your time especially when you're working with the higher end of metals and you could do that with the pliers that we had as you well. can push it up with the pliers but careful whenever you introduce pliers to wire you are because you're using metal on metal you yes. start work hardening the wire really really fast right okay so um, you can make use, sure like it's I right. say, if you're squeezing it up with your pliers just be very gentle yeah. the wire the silver is so 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 soft you don't need you don't need to be heavy-handed with it but also because it's so soft as a weaving wire it yep. also makes it really really easy to use honestly yeah right oh, it's so, so lovely like i literally have gone like this and it's just like meh. it is so soft you're gonna work hard in that now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But it's because I like to sit, and you'll see, I, I like to do this, and you can get away with doing that kind of thing a lot more when you've yeah. got a softer wire. Yeah. Honestly, because <laughs> it doesn't go so brittle so quick. <laughs> right. And all I've done is like a couple of millimeters there. Yeah. And now we're going to start wrapping the cab on here. Yeah. So I want to get this out of the way first of all. Yeah. So I'm going to pull that up really, really firmly, and then I am going to just trim it off. And if you, you need, you know, the idea of having a nice thin pair, pair of cutters, I'm putting the little scraps of silver to one side and I put yep. more in a little bag. And then I'm just going to get those in. And I can get them into a really nice, <gasps> awkward little corner there. You and can just squeeze with it in. those. Yeah, you don't have to worry about finishing on a corner and everything. No, so they're amazing, those pliers. When you've done it, immediately rub it with your hand because you need to know that you haven't got anything sticking up because that's the last thing you want to do. Oh, stab, any, stab anybody with your jewellery. Yeah, quite. It's not ideal. It's not what we're going for. No, no. So I'm just going to. Um, I know I just said work from the reel with this, but I'm just cutting a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> but you, when you're at home, you're not going to want to because you're going to want to go on away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, this isn't mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cut kidding, it away. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> anyway, we're going to go all the way round. And actually, what I did there was very naughty. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, so what you do is you push the end up through, yep. and then you grab it and you pull. Yep. So you're not running your hands or you're poking it up oh, through. Oh, through and the wire. what actually stops you work hardening it so fast. Okay, good. So we've anchored it three times. Yep. I have the tail, ha and I'm holding the tail yep. with on this bit here. The wire, you notice, is coming in. It's coming from the inside of the frame. I have a step-by-step -step guide, for photograph guide on my JM Guest Designer Sammy Fletcher page. Yeah. So you can go back and have a look. But yeah. I'm going to actually show you on camera how it started off. Yeah. It is an easiest thing to pick up, which is why I did that. Cause I right. Did. So That's you can nice see the wire comes up on the inside, and it's and I'm now going to push, make a loop. So I'm pushing the wire up through the frame again. Yeah. And it's in front of this this bigger wire. Yep, closest to you. It, it's, it's in front, yeah, and I'm pulling it, and you can see that a loop is starting to form. And I'm just gently pulling it, and then I'm just going to push it up as I'm pulling it, and you're getting a little bit of a loop, and I'm pulling it. You don't want to pull it too tight, so I just push it. So this is about four or five mils, that loop. Yeah. But it's not really, really, really tight. Look, that's quite a loose loop. So yeah. don't, you know, don't, you don't go pull it back, yeah. and don't worry if it's not particularly neat because i had a lady come to my store this weekend who's absolutely amazing at wire work and she said i just can't get it 
really, really ultra neat around the bottom. I said, don't, don't worry, about, worry it. about it. It's the top row that's the one that people but, see, but, but and it all pulls it in together. So really, do not panic. You are no, it, it's very unlikely, and you have to have a lot of practice for you to get it obsessively neat. Yeah, the all netting, the time. Yeah, all the time. So really, you have to give yourself a break sometimes. Yeah, I know. As wire workers, we are often obsessive about how neat things are. So you can see, I'm always going outside of the frame and then pushing up inside the frame, but in front of that wire. Right. So we've got outside, and you can see from here that it's going in front of this wire here. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it so much from that angle. And then we're going to push, pull that, and again, make another little loop. Yeah. And you're going to go all the way around doing that. So I'll just go all the way around. Just going once. all the way around. So, Let's yeah. recap what's in that kit, because there's still lots and lots of you with it in your basket. Oh, we have a message from Claire. Hello, lovely ladies. Ah, oh, it's Guess the mm -hmm. Claire. Wonderful show. Gorgeous jewellery, Sammy, uh, and Brill demos. I have bought both kits and the pliers. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There you go. Uh, oh, Julie says, OMG, Sammy! That is lush, 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 lush. Big hug. <laughs> oh, I love Julie. She's lovely. That's gorgeous. We need a coffee again soon, my dear. There you go. Social arrangement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? Absolutely. Uh, while you're wrapping all the way around, we're just yep, going to recap the quickly. kit. Because uh, like I said, there's still lots and lots of you with it in your basket. Uh, creating this beautiful design. And you said you've only used, obviously, used one cabochon and you've not even touched the 0.6 wire I haven't, yet. Well, no, I've, used, I've made one little clasp. That's Amazing. <laughs> and you're getting two metres of the 0.6. So you've done really well, really yes. well. Uh, so you get an entire metre's worth in the 0.8, then two metres worth in the 0.4, which you've used. Um, you get two metres worth in the 0.6 that you haven't really touched apart from the clasp. And uh, then we've got 240 carats worth of amethyst in multi-shaped cabochons. Now, the intensity of colour in this amethyst is just incredible, really incredible. And uh, we're at £26.95, which for me is kind of ridiculous. Um, especially when you've said that this would retail around the £80 mark on your store. Yeah, on my store. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, see, that's, that's um, re finished really well. Absolutely, yeah. But as you would, you take your time and you take your time when you're using sterling silver for starters yeah. and exquisite gemstones of this kind of size. Oh, I know. You would want to take your time on it, wouldn't you? Absolutely. It's that colour. It's amazing, isn't it? And it really gets shown up up against up against the silver as well. Uh, the answer is, hi, ladies. Uh, Sammy and I have put a reminder on your Facebook wall to <laughs> super you. glue mail. Yes. Thank you. I reckon it'll be like this. You'll get home and it'll be like that. Bang, 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 uh, bang, bang, bang. See how many people I have said so. it. Yeah, you'll have to <laughs> let us know how many people. Uh, so well done if you managed to grab that kit. I do think there's still lots and lots of you with it in your basket. So uh, do check it out. Do check it out. Awesome. Um, we're just going to. Well, you're carrying on. Oh, so. I'm done now. I've just done. Just, we're just. Uh, let's make these uh, available, and then we'll come back to you. Okay. Uh, so we've got a sterling silver findings kit that we had. Uh, these are amazing. Now half the stock of these went earlier. If you have just joined us, oh my goodness! Uh, in here we've got uh, 15 of the ball head pins, and you've got 10 crimp covers and 10 crimps themselves. Two pairs of the earring shepherd's hooks. Uh, fancy beads. 10 pieces of those um they're gorgeous i love those these fancy cut beads and you've put those into your designs and actual fact they're at the back of your design on this one itself mm -hmm. uh then you've got the the beautiful earrings and the butterfly backs there uh, they in there look at them this is so gorgeous it's just attention to detail isn't, isn't it? it just and people people really you know that's what people will will pay for for the attention to detail and in fact in this design you could actually put them on the front and the bigger yeah. loops as well really so. lovely uh, then you've got the uh, fancy earring pose and butterflies these are beautiful you added um both quartz to yours oh they catch it because it's that brushed silver I catch the light so well uh, then you've got the wonderful heart chain, which is just so delicate. And every time I've seen heart chains, they just are always so incredibly popular. Toggle cast there as well, and as well as the five mil jump rings. Look how beautiful that is. Yes, and I can't believe that that is all sterling silver. That entire kit is just 19.95. That's brilliant, isn't it's it? It's crazy. Lovely, gorgeous. Right, let us carry on. Ooh. So I've just made some made loops all the way around the bottom, and I've got back. <laughs> I've got back. Oh dear! That's about the back. They're right. They're still on the table. <laughs> That's the lovely escape. thing about beads. They're round. Absolutely. Yeah. So we've got all the way around to the bottom. So what you do is you start the second row, yeah. and then you. But 
the first one of the second row you do without the cabochon in. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going through, if we can find the first one is, you see I've just I've closed the gap there. So what I'm going to do, first one of the second row, I'm going to go and you can see I'm going in the middle of the loop. loop of the I'm not main the, loop. Of the main loop. Yep. And again, you're going outside in. So you always loop outside. Yep. So up closest through, to and you. Then, yeah. And then I'm gently pulling that. And I'm not pulling it too firmly, but that's just to start that second row. Yep. And it's at this point, you see, kind of spread it out a little bit. You start holding the cabochon in place. So with your hand like that, you hold it in, <laughs> it's slipping out. You hold it in place because you've already started that one loop. You're then just going to take it through the middle of each loop, push it up through the middle, take it in front. It's really difficult to show you from that angle, isn't it? Um, that's better. You're going to take it up and you're going to pull it firmly, and then you're going to go all the way around that, um, continuing like that. Yeah. And as you do it, you're pulling quite firmly. I'll do one more to show. Yeah. And then I'll show you where I finished. Perfect. Um, that one, and then I'll show you the third row, which is really easy. So as you're pulling it, it's going really quite, it's going quite smaller, and yep. it's beginning to hold it in place. By the time you get to about here, the whole thing should be more or less held in place. Perfect. So you just continue to do that, and you pull it. It's pulling it. It's pulling it together, and it's almost drawing it all in. Yeah. So I'll put that one, and you can actually see the beautiful colour of that one. You can. That. Yeah, you so really I'm just can. Move that to one side. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring out the one that I have done to that. And you, this is the one that you fell in love yeah, with. Yeah, the colour is amazing. And you, you can, so you can see that I have gone all the way around. And they're not perfectly even. That one is like half a millimetre bigger than the other one. Don't, so we don't, don't worry. Because, I know. <laughs> but we're not overly worried. Because the thing about doing it this way is the fact that I've stopped. Because you start and stop at the top in the middle. Yeah. We're now going to do like a big decorative thing here. Nice. So, and I've I started working with a whole rail. So I'm going to have a gap of a couple. Yep. And then I'm just going to push it half, um, through the top of that one there. Yeah. So you're not just doing it neat into the one. Well, that's and then nice. I'm going to go to about here. As long as yep. you keep it even on both sides, it yep. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm just keeping my finger in the way come up through this one but this is if you're not very confident in your netting and thinking that the two rows are not going to be firm enough for you then do a decorative top like Absolutely. that and that's your and security that's, blanket and also it draws the eye away from the fact that your netting might be not that, that neat I mean obviously some of we you know it is possible to get it very 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 neat but it takes an awful lot of practice yeah so for people who are not very practiced this is a really nice way of saying actually I can net it and yeah. I can make it look really pretty. That's so nice. So we're going to go to the bottom again. Are you going to keep doing that? I'm just going to do, yeah, there's only about five loops, but I'll okay. just keep doing that while you... While you do that then, I'm going to talk about this, because I have seen this once before in here, but I have also seen this um, on our sister channels. Now, whenever we've had bracelets and necklaces with anything with a magnetic clasp on, mm -hmm. my goodness, and I've heard them talk about it whenever they've been upstairs getting ready to go. And someone goes, oh, what, what have you got there? What have you got there? And they go, magnetic clasp bracelet. Oh, my goodness, you'll be done with those in about five minutes. And it's not a lie. They go in and fly back out again. Why? Because they're so easy to work with. They are even, if you have no issues with a lobster core cast, oh, my goodness, every time I would choose one of these because even if you've just got nails, sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to work with. Also, you were saying, which was a great idea, if you've got children, mm -hmm. absolutely like small, small children, they grab that necklace, it's just going to come undone because they've grabbed it to undo it as yeah. opposed to breaking it. So this is absolutely multifunctional. Now, you can see there how wonderful it is. This is, uh, this is incredible. This is sterling silver, got the stamp on it as well. And I'm just going to show you, if you don't mind, of course with one of your pieces, just how easy this is to work with. Now, I'm just going to take this... I don't know if you'll be able to take that one off, because I've wired that one on. 
Oh, have you? Well, <laughs> hold on. Oh, because you can add a... Hang on. No, uh, yeah, see, you don't even need to worry. So, okay. this is the beauty of this, that you can take it on and off and have it on any, any ones that you want to. Now, I'm hoping, because that's quite a small clasp, I'm hoping this will fit. So, it just pops on. Yep. So, it just pops on the claw clasp there. Oh, gosh. Then you take the other end. That's genius. Absolutely <laughs> genius, isn't it? So you don't, even if you, you don't have to change any piece at all. Oh, and I think wow. the beauty of it is that you can add it to people's designs. So if someone comes up and goes, oh, I really like that, but can't, can't really deal with lobster core class, bam, don't yeah. even need to. And I think that's amazing. You don't need to change the design that you've worked with. You don't have to have any kind of skills that you don't want to have. You literally just put them on and it's done and I have to say I think they're pretty decorative themselves I think they're they're really lovely they've got great because they're sterling silver they've got great luster to them which is just gorgeous really nice that you could incorporate them into designs if you wanted to um, I think it was was it someone was saying that it's I think it's Gemma Crow was saying on when uh, on another show when they had them they're great tip for interchangeable drops as well if you've got them on mm -hmm. a pendant and just change them over all the time and have it to match whatever you're wearing so you could have the bases of your necklace done already and then just keep swapping them over I mean how perfect you've got to do nothing to your designs just clip them on that's great isn't it amazing that's really really good Wow, nine and instead of four, was it fourteen or fifteen ninety five? We're at nine ninety five. We're at nine ninety five, and it is that easy. And sometimes you can, sometimes you're quite able to do the lobsters, but I know that if it's bracelets, I struggle a little bit sometimes, or if it's necklaces, you can't always see. You have to get somebody to help you. I just think these are absolutely perfect. You can just add them on. Don't have to change your design. Don't have to, and, and you can add them to anything. But I say I think that's great for, for like people who have got young babies yeah. and young kids that don't want to put magnetic class on all of their pieces. No. They can just transfer it between each class. That's yeah. fabulous. And if you are at it, absolutely a piece that you're wearing that you know you're going to be carrying the child around for quite some time that day, probably going to have a bit, <laughs> of, a, bit of a play on the old necklace because, um, yeah, they do, don't they? It's interesting and it's beautiful and it's like the magpie effect, especially when they're little. <laughs> Instead of breaking it, clasp is going to undo because it, it's got a nice power to, to it but so are small children <laughs> and there it goes yeah. 9.95 i think it's brilliant it's sterling silver great look to it really really beautiful that you can incorporate into designs if you want it have interchangeable pendants perfect as well and a gorgeous gorgeous look 9.95 perfect lots and lots of you multi-buying well done if you are managing to grab that perfect that's great yeah it's amazing isn't it there we go. And they're quite nice as earrings. I know, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. why it's just like, oh. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we've got all the way around. Yeah. You've just done one, two, three, four, five, six yep. little loops. And that's quite, you know, that's quite pretty. So when you get back up to the top, you're going, all you're going to do is take your end of your wire back down. If you can get it through the wires, then do so. Otherwise, just put it back down behind them and through the frame. I'm just pulling it through the frame like this, mm -hmm. gently. So I'm not going to kink it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to wrap it three times around the frame. And that's done. And then we're going to start on the bail. Mm -hmm. When I finish dropping it. <laughs> which is fine because it's wire. It's not it going to ping off like an not. elastic bracelet. <laughs> not that I'm bitter. I know. I can tell that you've really liked that. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm through that. I'm through that. Yeah. <laughs> Moved on with my life. Yep. <sighs> it's just... <laughs> It's just like the simplest thing to make and I can't make it. It's like, oh, oh. Frustrating. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just stubborn. If I can't do something, I'm just gonna, wanna, oh, I want to like do that it. As well. I'm like that as well. So, yeah, there we go. I'm going to flip that over and trim that off. And cool. then whatever I've left, yep. that's what's going to go towards the bed as well. Perfect. So, there we go. And trim that off. And you can trim it as close as that because with those pliers, with those you can pliers, just neaten it out. Get in. And then you can, but you can also tilt it, and you can get it because so it's not at the back, yeah. and it's not at the front where you can see it. Yeah. You're tucking it in between there and the stone. Perfect. Because you can get you can get that done. So I'm just going to move the wire out of the way a second. So now you, what you want to do is what we did before making the frame. Yeah. Same thing out of some more 0.8, and you're, but you're just going to make it slightly bigger this time. So we want two more. Like Ooh, little two more, two yeah. little paddle shapes like that. And are those two see. one slightly bigger than the other one? one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's not, you don't have to be completely accurate because it's really, really soft. Don't hammer these ones yet. Um, leave them really soft because as you're weaving them to the base frame, as you'll see in a minute, it pulls it all right tight. Yep. So, and then you can keep forming it, and that's right. the beautiful thing about this boat being really, really soft. Yeah. And that's what I recommend you do with things like bare copper yep. as well. Um, you, if you use a design where you don't have to worry about it pulling out of shape, because you're just pulling it to, yep. you're anchoring it to something that is rigid, like we are, we're anchoring it to the base of yep. this, then it's going to have that natural flow, and you're nice. not worrying about bending things and stuff. Yep. Really nice. But there you go. So what we're going to do is pick up the, the paddle that's the smallest, yep. first of all. I'll move the bigger one out of the way. And we're going to hold, this is the slightly fiddly bit, as we say. Um, and I'm just going to fan them out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And you can start with the uh, wire that if you're left nice and long that you started this weave off for the bale. Yeah. You're just going to go... Um, we're just going to go over both of them, actually. I'm fibbing entirely. Picking them <laughs> both up. <gasps> putting them all together. I know. I told you. <gasps> fib. Oh, liar. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Pants on fire. <gasps> I know. So I want to get them all nice and firmly together. And you see, I'm going to spend a little bit of time making sure that none of the wires are overlapping here and I know where they all are. These two outside ones we're going to weave together. Yeah. So... Because the wire started on the top of this one, it's going underneath both of these. Yeah. Move that up nice and close. Pull it quite firmly. I'm going to go around both of those wires all the way around once. And I'm now pulling it quite firm Yeah. to make sure that they're anchored together. But I don't want to put it so firm that one goes on top of the other. You know, what you yeah. start saying? You want them um, next to each other. Yeah. Go all the way around. And then I'm going to go underneath those. And then these two are going to be woven as normal so we're going to go over that one underneath that one so it's like a bit of a basket weave yeah and then round the two end ones together and you can see how soft it is i can keep shaping it all the time yeah really nice and it, what it also means is when you've woven the bale if you've left this, these a bit baggy you can pull it up through you can manipulate it you can take a bit of time but like i said if you're ever worried just play with it in plate or copper first yeah absolutely it's really it's a really lovely medium to work with isn't it sterling silver yeah. because there's never a point where you can't fix what you've done well no, I mean, with the not point for, I mean, like I say, if you overwork your wire, what you can do is you can get a torch, right? And you can gently go, not anything with a stone in, by the way. This is, <laughs> don't do it if you've got a stone involved. You can gently wave the torch over it in a dark room so you can see when it starts to go. And then um, stop and you're annealing it, basically. Um, but you've got to be quite careful because you don't want to melt it. But obviously you don't no, want to do that with your point four because that's just going to, yeah. Enough. So, you know, <laughs> you, you, can, you can generally recover it, and, but you will get fire scale on it, and then you're going to have to kind of clean that off and stuff. But, yeah, it's possible to do. That's great. Now, while you're weaving that, we've yep. just put on um, a sterling silver duo. Now, it's sterling silver, rose gold plating over the top. We've got the eye pins. You're getting 20 of them, and you're getting five of these beautiful bead caps. Now, these are gorgeous. I think the rose gold mm -hmm. up against a pearl... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, rose gold and, and most things. Well, that's million. true. That is very true. So we've got a beautiful bead cap. Uh, there it is. Beautiful bead cap. And then we've got 20, 20 of the uh, eye pins for you. So sterling silver eye pins with the beautiful rose gold plating over the top. There we go. Really nice, lovely colour, very feminine, feminine colour to them. Yeah, they go with all the skin tones, don't they? They That's do, they yeah, say. they do. And not only that gives it quite a vintagey style look to it, as well as a very warming look, I always think. Yes. Lovely, so sterling silver, rose gold plating over the top, five of those bead caps, which are six mil, and 20 of those gorgeous eye pins. Perfect they are, those eye pins, absolutely perfect. All for just... Oh my goodness, six ninety five. Is Phil on a mad one? Today? I think <laughs> so. Absolutely, yeah. Six ninety five. There we go. Rose gold plating over the sterling silver. Five of those gorgeous bead caps, and then also twenty of those eye pins. Lovely. Yeah, really nice. 
That's really good. You can yeah. see, as I'm weaving, you can now see that those two are now quite collect. You can see they're gripped yeah. together. Um, and I'm gradually, well, that's not too gradually, but I'm splaying it out. Yeah. Because um, this is the shape of the bale I want. So when it gets to about here, I'll then, oh, because I can bend it now actually and show you. What you want to do is w decide how long, why do you want your bale to be? So that's going to be oh, the length okay. of the bale because yeah. you're going to bend that over, you Perfect. see. Perfect, yeah, yeah. So you decide whereabouts you want to do it. And then if you make a little kink in it, you'll know how far you've got to weave before you start bringing it in. Yeah. And then you'll, you'll bend that bit. Let me do it. So you've got the final shape is almost like a kite shape. Okay. So we do that like that. You see? Oh, perfect. And Lovely. Uh, yes. Yeah, so then you're just going to keep weaving. And it's, you know, I like to have them, I like to have a little bit of these go wider and stuff. It just gives a little bit more decoration. Absolutely. To yeah. To do it. So you just keep, keep on doing that. And when you get to the end there, you'll just anchor it three times. Cool. All right. And yeah. then you've got your whole woven bale to get that whole look. Nice. And now you see with this bit is entirely, again, it's up to you. If you want to leave it, it's actually fine to leave it like that and not weave it, but I like to weave it all together. Yeah, I think that's really nice. It um, looks, it it looks just, just look look, Yeah, it looks lovely. It just gives another finish. It takes it up a little bit. Yeah, I think, I think so. I and think so. If you're taking the trouble to work with sterling silver, then you do want to change it up a bit. I think. Yeah. But that's uh, that's my. You know, it's not my, not everyone's opinion, but it's mine. So. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I see there's a little bit of gap here. Obviously, there will be because that's where you started the whole thing off. Yeah. So I'm going to use that, stick the little end through, yeah. hold it firmly with this finger underneath, um, and then I'm just holding it out of the way while I. You want to have quite a long bit of wire when you're starting this, and if you've got any little off cuts of weaving wire, you can actually add them in. Oh, can you? Yeah, because you're doing you're weaving this one. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And when you're doing round and round and round and round and round, although we are occasionally reading two and three together, yeah. um, it's very easy to blend and add in. Perfect. Especially when you've got those zero on pliers, because then you can you can get into a tight gap and really finish things off nicely. So what you want to do just to weave this? Yeah. As you go around five, ten times, wh whatever you want to make your pattern. Okay. Um, that's up to you. I usually do ten. I usually do ten wraps around the base wire. Oh, yeah. Um, just having and a look at your design, because I was like, what are you going to do with that? But yeah. Yeah, you can't really, you mean, when you get closer, the thing yeah. about a design like this is when people look at it, every time they look at it, they see something else. Yeah. And that's, people People are really intrigued by that. And it's, again, it's attention to detail. Yeah. I know Jan's always banging on about it. I'm always banging on about it. Alison's always banging on about it. Attention to detail is what people are after. Of course, absolutely. And it just fascinates. It says, it says, I've really thought about this. Well, I think that's it, isn't it? I think if, if, if people think that you've put all your care and attention into it, Yeah. Then the whole look is going to be, and you know that it's going to have a great finish, and you yeah. know that it's going to be stable, and all the rest of it, just because you can see that in all the design as well. Yeah, and it's something that you learn as you're going along. Yeah. Um, you know, when you when you do these designs that you see on the TV and you see on the DVDs, then you take elements of each design and put it all into you know yeah. into another design. So I've gone, I, I don't know whether I've gone 10 times because I was chatting, and now what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter because you can just, as long as you do it by art, you make yeah. sure it's neat. Yeah. So for this first one, I'm going to go not just around the two here, I'm going to go around these two and the frame. Perfect. So I'm going to so anchor it three. to the frame. Because you'll see that you can, I don't know if you can because that's in the way, but you can see you can actually get, if I tilt like that, there's an actual gap. Yeah underneath there so you can get a wire through that which means that I can just push that wire up through there you go and anchor it to the frame nice so that's what I'm going to do she says <laughs> but no I am and I'm just going to keep making sure it doesn't want to twist twisted it the wrong way then nearly made it double twist so and I'm going to anchor this through twice and then I'm going to carry on and you just do this um, basically every 10 you either anchor it, well what I do is I'll go 10 wraps around the outside, 
then um, two wraps around all three wires, yeah. then ten wraps around the outside, then two wraps around two wires. Oh, nice. And um, it just helps to keep it all very even. Yeah. And you see, as I'm going, I'm constantly moving and shifting it all to make it really, really, really um, firm. But also doing it every, two, every um, other time yeah. when you're doing it around all three wires, it helps to pull it all into shape yeah. nicely. So yeah, and that's basically how you go. Amazing. And then at the end of it all, you just literally bend your <gasps> bend your bale over, and then you spread your wire. You know, because that'll all be anchored in place. Yeah. Spread your wires out. Oh, and that's how you make those end yeah. bits. And it's up to you if you when you spread the wires out. If you choose to make a loop, then mm. make sure when you finish it all, you do hammer it because yep. obviously that can get caught. If you yep. know, you can use them to hang off things. You can use them to put chain on. Or if you think actually I don't want that, that's going to look a little bit fussy. Yeah. Um, then just make them into little spirals. You can hide them behind. I was going to say, what if you don't want anything? If you don't want anything, if you want to have it just really neat, then just don't display, display it out. Fold it over like this, and then what you would do is on the back because you want to make sure that that's going to be a nice tight bale yeah so you push it down don't be frightened of the wire so what you would then do is make little spirals attach maybe like a little loop there to anchor it and stuff Point just four. hide yeah just mm. hide all your little ends here yeah make little tiny spirals and little tiny loops hide them all behind there Amazing. and anchor with the end of your weaving wire from the bale anchor that to the to the back so that there's no your chain's not going to go slipping down there you just anchor the back and then you're done amazing so it's up to you if you want it just i mean i think like you say it looks beautiful without anyway without the loops as well yeah but the loops also bring it well you i know, think it depends you yeah i think it depends if you want a classic look or a decorative look yeah well, the thing is, you could do one of each, you mm. see. You could have one that's that's just quite a clack and one that's a bit more out there. Yeah. And then people will look and they'll think. And um, quite often, it's like when you're pitching to a bride. You'll have something really quite flamboyant yeah. in the way of tiaras, and you'll have all these beautiful necklaces. Yeah. And they'll go, I absolutely love that, but I want the plain, plan plain yeah. pearls. But they're still buying it off you. Yeah, But because absolutely. they've seen what you can do... They like know that, yeah, that's it, oh, that's lovely. Because some people, everyone's tastes are different, aren't they? Yeah. And everybody likes what they like, and that's they just do. that's just it. And it's nice to have the choice. It's nice, I think, especially to be able to create your own pieces, because you can create it exactly as you want it. Yeah. So I mean, I do nice. like it when people come to me and they say, I want this, and I would like it like this. Yeah. And you're like, that's great. Um, when they come to you and they say, I want something, but I'll let you decide. And you're like, no! I haven't a clue what your taste yeah. is. I don't know. I haven't a clue what your taste yeah. is. I don't know whether you want simple, clean lies, and I don't know if you, or if you want something really ornate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, beautiful. So there we that's go. That's so amazing. I'm so glad that because obviously so many people asked to see that. Yeah. And so many people wanted to know how to create that. So nice that being yeah. able to do that. Well, if you have, like I say, if you ever have any questions, then you can always get me on Facebook, email, or whatever. Then, amazing. Um, yeah. There you go. I'm usually fairly quick at responding, unless I'm asleep. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you've got any questions now, you can send those in now, oh, yeah. and we can sort of try, try your best to answer those. Um, if you want to send a text in, you mm -hmm. can do that. Uh, anything that we've had today, that's fine. Anything that you would like to know. Um, so you just text in to 60777, mm -hmm. and just start with JM Studio, and you can send those in. I think that you can message on the web as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, just send those in. Send those in. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gorgeous. We're just going to do, we're going to grab these. We're going to have a little look at these. Um, have we got a tie? Because I really like this over here. Oh, you really like yeah, that Yeah, and, and can we, ha I'm going to do, do this while we grab the bits to do it. Can we show you how to do that? I'm just going to grab it. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, and I we'll think this is little. gorgeous. That's really, right, I'll have to talk you through some of it. Yeah. Because I've done the two clasps at the, at the back. Which yes. Basically, so what you would do in order to make something like that is you would take a piece of that's done with the one mil you can yep. do it with a 0.8 take a piece of sterling silver and you would have it quite straight yeah you get the double insulated pliers so yep. what you have is that they that they come with like a wooden insulated handle yeah and you hold you hold it in the middle like i'm holding that with your pliers not pliers you, yeah tweezers um then you get your blowtorch and you apply the heat slightly above the end of your yep. blowtorch, uh, of, the, of there, just slightly up. 
because what will happen is the silver will follow the heat. Mm. Okay, so it's just like, just like a millimetre above the end and it will ball up really quickly. And then you just take the heat off. I mean, it takes seconds. Yeah. Just flip it over and do the other side. Right. So you imagine that you've balled up the ends there. Yeah. That's if you want to do that bit. You don't have to. Yeah. While you get all your pieces ready, okay. uh, we're going to do lapis lazuli duo. Now we've got That's 300 good. carats worth of faceted rounds. Uh, they're beautiful. 10 mil in those faceted rounds and then 20 of the 4 mil. Beautiful to have those pieces there uh, in the same, obviously the same gemstone in those two different sizes, which is always lovely. Look, I always think lapis, although obviously there's golden flecks in it, which looks perfect with the gold, it looks gorgeous with the silver as well, really brings out the colour. Pepper, uh, it's something that I'm requested a lot, have you got any lapis? Yeah. They like it. Um, yeah, you can wear it all rose gold. It looks amazing. Yeah. So if you've got the rose gold findings, they it just looks absolutely stunning with those little bead caps. So for something like that with the bead caps, I'd probably do um, Ooh, yeah. just a plain stranded necklace and then just have bead cap around two, yeah. you know, around one at the middle. Yeah. And then it's just, it just lifts it. Yeah. And you that only need lovely. to do that. You, only, you don't need to have bead caps all the way along. No. Just around. Just a feature in the centre. Mm -hmm. These are really, really beautiful. So 10 mil and 4 mil. I think I love this because of the history about mm. it as well. How much it was used in Egyptian times. I think that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So those two strands, all for just brand new. Wow. Beautiful sparkle. Ah, 8.95. <laughs> Two strands, perfect. Of a wonderful gemstone, lapis lazuli, steeped in history. Uh, and yeah, there you go, 320 carats all in all. Faceted rounds, I think those facet looks beautiful because of the depth of colour on them. Yeah, in, and because you get the little flecks of gold, so you have the, the details from the dot, the, the, the facets and the gold, yeah. and everything all the way through. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Beautiful, lovely depth of colour. 8.95. Oh my goodness, yes. Now, remind me of this story, because was this Gemma Crow? So Gemma Crow saw uh, in a jeweler's, uh, was it the larger one, I guess it probably was, was a knotted lapis uh, necklace with a clasp on the end, and it was ha over what? Over 300 pounds. I know you've got retail overheads, but you know. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless they went and got it themselves and flew first class. But the thing is, this is, yeah, I know. But this is, you know, perceived value. Yeah. Now, people uh, perceive that um, beauty, beauty costs money. Um, obviously, if you were to then knot it yourself and put it on your craft store at £300, I don't think you would actually shift it at that. Well, but no, but the fact when that. Once you it stop building, it has that, that sort of value to it. Obviously, they're going to be able to sell it at that because they have a name. Yeah. So this is about building your name as a designer. And stuff, but there, there, there is, um, there is a perception, a retail value to lapis yeah. because it is so known, and because, like you say, for over four thousand years we've been making jewelry out of it. Yeah, and the and Egyptians absolutely. Yeah, love and I stuff. love that the Egyptian, like um, Capucci says, crush it down and use it as eyeshadow, yeah. and they were. <laughs> So like stunning. I wouldn't recommend it. No, yeah. well not now. <laughs> not now. It's probably cheaper things to do. But oh, yeah, yeah there are. Oh, yeah, just go to a sort of a, a local shop and go get it now. But yeah, the fact that yeah. that's what she used to do because of the colour of it, because they were so glamorous and had yeah. the most amazing colours. Yeah. Knowing that that's really what it's famed for, its beautiful depth of colour. I think it's incredible. I mean, it, it's so classic Egyptian. Yeah. The, the blues and the golds. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, and I think when you, yeah, when you are looking at that kind of value and you can see it at that kind of value, then you realise getting that two strands at eight ninety five is always going to be. So we do talk about semi precious stones, um, and that is one of the more well known semi precious yeah. stones. Whereas people may not have heard of like charite and absolutely, stuff like that, although yeah. it is astoundingly beautiful yeah. and everybody's fascinated with it. Um, lapis is is very well recognised. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful, lots of people grabbing that, well done. So yeah, you've pulled the ends up of your wire. Yes. And uh, we're going to now just take your um, round nose pliers and make a little loop. And obviously they would be a little balled up end there. Yeah. So we have, oh there we go, we have a loop. And now I'm just gonna take a, maybe the widest bit of my round nose pliers and go the other way. Yep. And I might make it, if I'm gonna do it the same size, what I'll do is I'll just lean them over like that so I'm not, 
and we're just going to keep doing this kind of yes. loopy, snaky thing. Being careful not to get it. I mean, you can get it wider and wider and wider if you want to. The thing is, it's so soft and easy to work. You can use your thumb a little bit. Perfect. You know what I mean? It really yeah. is so easy. And you can, when you've got that loop already, you can manipulate it a little bit, you know, by hand and get it where yeah. you want. So you're just doing the initial kind of, oh, and use the end because you want that width. See? There we go. I forget what I'm doing sometimes. Why do I forget my own name sometimes? It's <laughs> a wonder if I remember to get dressed, I tell you. <laughs> it's a good job, really. People who will have eaten. I reckon so someone would have mentioned it along the way somewhere I think between so, home yeah. and here. I think so. Yeah. Well, hopefully before hopefully I got in the studio. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Certainly uh, when I arrive. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I forget why I walk in a room yes, all the time. Oh, yeah. And I, I put that down to attention span. But I do which is obviously fairly minimal, but I do I do, do that quite a lot. And my mum always goes, oh, yeah, but I do that. Oh, but not at your age. All the yeah. time she says that, and I'm like, should I be concerned about this situation? I think, you know, a lot of us with creative minds are like that, yeah. though. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, this is going to be as, as long as your bit of wire is. Yeah. Because you've balled the ends up, you don't want to cut it. No, of course not, no. Because otherwise you've got to do that again. And then clean it up again. <laughs> Which is a pain. Way too much hassle. It is a lot of hassle. When you get to the end, and you see, I'm just going to, uh, I'll do the whole big thing, and then it's going to have a little tail at this end. So you can see mine are slightly different lengths on the other one. You'll see what I mean in a moment. And there we go. Um, literally, that is it. And I'm just yeah, going to push it together. It. Push it together with my fingers to get it where I want it, and then hammer the hell out of it, flatten yes. it. And then you get a little, you can facet it as well. Really, really simple. Love that. I like the smaller end at the bottom because I think that gives a little bit more symmetry. Um, it's so simple and you haven't used an awful lot of silver there. Love that. When you hammer it, it has a really good effect. Yeah. If you're going to do the clasp, you do exactly the same thing, but with a smaller piece of wire, so about yep. this length, where you've balled the end up and you've just gone like a double ended thing. Yeah. Um, so you've got like two swirls and then you make so you go to where I've, I've got my fingers just here yeah so you do about that much yeah there look and then um, you just do another one of those and you can put the two together as a clasp perfect the clasp is just there if we can have like a little squiz at that and the, I think the hammered balled up ends um, look really cool I think they and look lovely and because You've got the strength where they've balled up, yeah. and you've hammered them. Um, they've got that strength that they're not the the um, chain will sit in there. It's not going to accidentally pop off. No, no way, no you way. Can really squid it. But yeah, absolutely love doing this. Simple. It's really, really bit of simple metal work without having to do an awful. Oh, it looks so good. It does, doesn't it? I mean, it it doesn't. I do. It sounds very arrogant, but I mean, it does. It just. It's very simple no, it thing does. to do. It, lo it, it looks lovely, and because it's so simple and effective, it catches the light so beautifully. It does. But I want people to 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 be able to have a go at simple stuff like this yeah. and not be intimidated by it. Because once you have that simple technique, yeah. you can then expand upon that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Once you get the basics of something, yeah, you're like, oh, well, will this work? And will that work? But of course, you can do the balling up thing with bare copper as well. Yeah. So you can practice with that again. Nice. Yeah. And then move on to the sterling yeah. with it. And you can oxidize the sterling. You can oxidize. Nice. You can do whatever you like with it. So I think if you've got the confidence to, to just go for it, I'd say, you know, life's short. Just give it a go. What's yeah. the worst that can happen? Especially when you've got all of that for 26 months. Five. I know. You know. What's the worst that can happen? Well, exactly. Can we have one more look at the kit? Is that all right? Because, yeah, I think uh, 26.95 and we had, fifth, how long have we got left? We had 50 metres of uh, wire. No, we didn't. We had five metres of wire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Five metres of wire. That would have been a bit awkward. Five metres of wire. You're quite right. Uh, there it is. Thank you. I've got the spec up now, so now I know. Stop making it up. Uh, so two lots of the one metre in the point four, two lots of the one metre in the point six, uh, one metre in the point eight, and 240 carats worth of amethyst in those multi-shaped cabochons. Mm -hmm. uh, we got five. I think there was five in my demo kit, but they will be anywhere between sort of four and six, six I should yeah, think. Probably. 
uh, but we're guaranteeing the carrot weight. Uh, yes, and all of that was just 26.95. How many do we have left? Ten. Brilliant. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. How many baskets? Thirty. Mm. <laughs> well, they, it's great, isn't it? Because you can do all sorts. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So check your baskets out because uh, that's amazing at 26.95. But what I will say, if you are going to be boiling up the ends of your wire, mm. never do it when you've got a, a stone yeah. in there because your stone will go bang. Yeah. And then you'll be sad. Even at 26.95 for five, then we still would. I would be sad. Yeah, be very be upset. Uh, right then, uh, don't go anywhere. We've got your challenge that we've yes. given you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't forget. Better, don't start forget. Better start on that. <laughs> uh, that was a gorgeous Labradori in those puffy coins. They were 14.95. Want to have a look at those? Uh, that's what we're going to be doing after the break, as well as some more deals. So don't go anywhere. I'm very much looking forward to see what you're going to do with that Labradori. <laughs> we'll see you in a moment. <laughs> If you'd like to wish Jewelry Maker a happy fifth birthday, download our Jewelry Maker Viewers Voice app and record your own video message that could be shown during our fifth birthday celebrations. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker! Download the Jewelry Maker app today. You can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience. genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details the certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. This weekend it's Jewelry Maker's 5th birthday. Kicking off with Free Gift Friday, get a birthday gift on orders over £30. Join Carol and guest designers on Saturday for Google Hangouts and Facebook chats. Super Sunday sees the launch of the 5th birthday DVD. Monday is the big day where we'll be launching brand new products and Last Chance Tuesday will bring you another DVD launch and an opportunity to grab any products you may have missed. All this plus much more so tune in for Jewelry Maker's 5th birthday weekend. Happy birthday, you crafty lots. All right, then. Welcome back to Design Inspiration. Beautiful kits that we've had today. Uh, I think there is some left, but only a few, I believe, uh, of each of those kits left. So have a little look, because I know there was only 10 left of that last one that we did. Um, my goodness, loved these today. Loved these. Brand new. Brand new, brand new, brand new, um, and just perfect. Now, we don't have... How many pairs do we have left? So we've got a few of these and only 10 of those. Right, OK. Hmm. These are gorgeous. So this is uh, hardware memory wire cutters. Um, they're comfortable. They're easy to work with. You can't use general cutters for memory wire. Nope. <laughs> Uh, was it Alison that found that out? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yep. I mean, pretty I much was, everybody's done it by accident. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, so you definitely, definitely can't use normal cutters on the memory. It's just too hard and just blunts them. You can probably do it once and then you'd have to throw them in the bin. <laughs> and then mm. you cry. <laughs> They're in there going, no! Uh, but seventeen ninety five for these, beautiful. They're very comfortable. They're absolutely perfect. And these are the pieces that you use day in day out these two pliers yeah. are the ones that are your go-to pieces yeah yeah absolutely love that brand it, it absolutely amaze me they're perfect for me yeah so yeah and they're 
they're so they're so comfortable so the the memory wire cutters were 17 uh, 17 and then we had uh, the tweezer nose pliers now I think you can see because I'm wearing a blue dress but my goodness look how beautifully intricate they are the amount of work that you can do with it I mean you have used them constantly today yeah I use them constantly all day, all day, <laughs> yeah. Every day. and uh, yeah and they, they haven't broken on me yet, so no. that's great. And they're comfortable, you can get right in, because when yeah. you were doing, even with the tiny little, um, so you created those beautiful loops to get right in there, you've used these, and it's no problem, it's just like, no. done. So when you're doing a frame, like I was showing, when, when we were doing the frame with the, uh, the netting around a caption, yeah. and you have to get the ends in really yeah. tight, because it's important on a pendant that you're not having any little scratchy bits. Yeah. So you can really tuck the end in well, yeah. and that, that makes such a difference when you whether you're making it for yourself or for other people you yeah. really do need to get that really yeah. it does make such a difference yeah makes your life so much easier so much easier and I have to say I've worn I've worn a necklace that had not that long ago actually that has uh, had a little bit and it just you don't really notice at the time but in the, ne the next morning you're like what is that irritation on my neck and it's mm -hmm. just where you've worn a necklace that hasn't been sort of finished off properly well, especially if you're doing like headbands and cuffs and yeah. things that you know really do rub. You I mean you might get away with it with a pendant, but yeah, with a cuff you're going to feel every bit of it, or a ring even more so. Uh, oh goodness, and actually, yeah. For making rings, those are, are fabulous because you really do have to get into some tight areas sometimes with a ring. Yeah. So yeah, really good. Fifteen ninety-five. I think they're near on sold out. I think there's. Is there a couple of pairs left? Well. <laughs> There's seven pairs left and 55 in baskets. <laughs> so uh, lots of you will miss out, but don't let it be you. Check out, check out. Right, is this all of this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. So there's two strands of the opal. Oh my goodness. Wow. Gorgeous. Nice colour in there as well. It's got greens, purples, blues. There is absolutely masses there, but that's not it. We're adding sapphire into the mix as well. Oh my goodness. There's so much there and it's all completely natural. This is Australian wild opal and beautiful blue sapphire and it's all completely natural. My goodness, I'm getting great colour out of these. Wow, turquoises, greens, blues, reds. And it's just glowing. And it's where white light's getting right inside the gym. And as it gets broken up, obviously white light made of the full rainbow uh, of colour. As white light jumps inside the gym, gets broken out. And as it flies back out, you get to see all that beautiful colour. And it really is, in some of these pieces, it's really electric. That is really gorgeous in there, really beautiful. Uh, and then we're seeing that stunning sapphire. Now, I love when sapphire looks really organic, and especially when it's natural in its colour. And then you see them in that sort of nugget form, and you've got a really organic, natural look to it. And these are going to look absolutely beautiful in any kind of designs that you're talking about. Now, we had, obviously, uh, the memory wire cutters. I think that nuggets always look great in memory wire bracelets. They do, but Opal, when you put it in, uh, like F Fiona Potter, yeah. I, it, I love her, she's my, she's one of my best friends in the world, oh. um, it, when she does them in resin, she'll put little Opal chips in resin. Oh my goodness! So what happens is the light bounces around the resin and the Opal, and, the opal. and it makes it fire even more. Oh, so I know idea. it's really hard to pick up the fire in, in Opal under these lights, Yeah. but when she does it in, it's just stunning when you do oh it my in goodness. resin, it really makes it look great. Right. Well, so. now I have to say, I'd never really seen too much resin until I had a show with, uh, oh my goodness, who was it was doing Was it, it Fleur or Fee? Fleur. It was Fleur. And she was showing me lots of her designs on her Facebook page. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like the things you can do is absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that you can capture yeah. pieces of your life in it. So she's got um, her confetti that she had at a wedding in captured in resin. I'm like, that's just so gorgeous. It is, yeah. I mean, Fee does some absolutely, absolutely out of this world stuff. Yeah. 
Um, so you, what you might think you wouldn't do something like that with chips, but it just makes it, it brings it out to it, brings the best out of them. Yeah, right? I think that's I think that's great that you can use these sorts of pieces in any kind of medium. We should be at twenty four eighty five. There's masses here, absolutely masses. Taking it down, what? Eighteen ninety five. Oh yes, one massive strand, two massive strands of natural opal and natural sapphires. You can do beautiful twisted multi-strand oh, um, sapphire and opal chunky necklace. Look at that, that's mm. gorgeous. That is my favorite when it's like that. I love it. I mean, you don't you don't have to put much work into um, chips if you don't want to because the texture of them is fabulous. Look, how beautiful is that? And I would say probably need to use maybe half of each strand. Yeah. Wind them together, double up and wind them together, then put um, a coil on the end. Mm -hmm. Maybe either lots of chain or I always think cord looks really nice. It's very you can fashionable. Do cord, yeah. And that's it. I make it. it my, my goodness. And you've got precious gemstones, beautiful gemstones that are going to catch the light, and you've got the most modern look, mm -hmm. but you're guaranteeing that you're getting real, genuine gemstones you as see, opposed to not. I think that could be day wear, or even if you were getting married on a beach, <gasps> I'd be quite happy to have that around, yes. you know, that because it is sapphire and oval, it would just look gorgeous. Absolutely it? stunning. I mean, we're talking about one of your top five. Mm. One of your top five. We're talking about sapphires um, with opals at eighteen ninety-five. Gorgeous. I mean, intensity of colours, beautiful colour out of those opal as well. I mean, eighteen ninety-five is incredible. Lovely. Right, I'm going to pop those on there. Yes, love these. These are so cute. So it's three strands. <gasps> these are uh, like I love these these are so fun they're so so fun I love these colors the colors are amazing oh wow oh look at them they are absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful uh, I always think if you want to have these um, I can't remember who it was someone uh, created a beautiful chain um, or mukrami piece and had them as a charm yeah just so not and you're only using one of them that's really good because they're quite durable aren't they so that's that's a really good use for them yeah really lovely um i think these are sorts of pieces as well because they are so decorative they've got that beautiful glow to them they've got gorgeous color to them really gorgeous i mean you want to create shooting star designs that <laughs> yellow straight away well i'd be quite ha um happy to have three bracelets like that one you know one above yeah. the other just looking because those colors where you've graduated on your arm like that. I really like that. Yeah. Actually. I really like that too. Look at that. <laughs> yes, please. It's really fun. Gorgeous. And I think these are the sorts of pieces that you can use with any sort of generation. You've got kids mm -hmm. and you want them to sort of do something craft sort of related. And I wasn't going to say crafting. That's very different. <laughs> um, something craft related. Uh, and you want them to have something that's not sat in front of the telly watching it, but actually doing something using imagination. These are going to be perfect for them as well. Yeah. And just pop one on a head pin, make the earring. Yeah. Eat really quick. Done. Done. Should be at 11.85. Oh my goodness. So for three strands, that beautiful yellow, 14 mil these are. Gorgeous yellow, blue and green there to 7.95. These are so stunning. And I think with the sort of summer coming up and all the festivals coming up, they would be beautiful in little head pieces as well. Yeah. Really stunning. Yeah. Little clips for little girls. Yeah, you could, I mean, they, they, yeah, you can do loads of things with those. Endless, you? endless, I think. Love them. You could do a little ring with them. I like, because we have the moons as well. Yes. So you can have, like, moons and oh, stars. Oh, you could have one star, one moon, feel a bit quirky. Yep. Love that. And, and a lot of it, well, you correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot, a lot of designers say that stars are a really great way to learn to wire wrap, because they almost sort of tell you where to sort of put the wire, where to wrap it in each Yeah, and they're good, especially if you're wanting to practice prong setting. Yeah. Because they'll sit in the middle of yeah. those as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're good for that sort of thing as well and making quirky little qu quick rings yeah. too. Um, so yeah, really good for that kind of thing. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Nice and bright, nice and vibrant, gorgeous luster to them. 
7.95. Love them. Right, let's pop those back in there. Oh, uh, other one, other one. Here we go. Oh, brand new, brand new this. Gorgeous colour. This is so bright, so beautifully vibrant. Wow. This is stunning. I don't think we get enough of these really sort of bright colours. And I think depends, A, depends what you mix it with. If you mix it with, with a black gemstone, it's going to yeah. look really sophisticated. You could even do it if you're not quite brave enough to use this really bright colour in the whole lot. You could just have a hit of that pink, couldn't you? Like you yeah. could have um, lots, of, lots of the darker colours and then have just sort of one or two of these maybe yeah. just sort Three of set. Around the box. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. And also for you, apparently, so uh, this is my newest fact, which I'm quite excited about. With smoky quartz, if you use smoky quartz with a gemstone that needs a lift, it will bring the lift out. If you use smoky quartz with a gemstone like this, it pulls Tone that colour back a little tiny yeah, bit. Tones it down a little bit, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's, I mean, it's like a magic gem. It's amazing. So this is brand new. We've got 90 carats worth of pink cow sadney. Graduated faceted rondelles. 6 by 3 to 8 by 4 and a 20 centimetre strand. Brand new, all for just. Could do a large price, yes please. Ooh, 8.95. Wow. I love it, it's really nice and bright, nice and vibrant. And I have to say, with summer coming up, I don't think you should shy away from these colours. They are phenomenal, especially with that sparkle because of those facets. Yeah. So beautiful, lovely depth of colour. Look at it. And the boats are really, really in at the minute, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> really Yeah, in. they are. In, in clothes as well. When That's you look at that, these sort of really bright pinks and sort of coral colours are so popular. So you can have like, a, uh, you can get away with it on your wrist and have a, have a lovely little stretchy with those because they're really gorgeous. Yeah. It'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. I love that gorgeous colour. Really bright, really vibrant. Like I say, depends what you mix it with, will depend on the overall look of it. Yeah. Really gorgeous. I think just a little hit of that colour in, in a really classic looking piece will just give it a bit of a modern twist and just look a little bit fun. Yeah, really do. Love it, Stunny. 8.95, 8.95. Love that. Brand new strand as well. And I don't think we see enough of these incredible vibrant colours. I love that though. Like just on your, on your wrist as a little bracelet. Perfect. Gives, gives you a smile. It does. It really does. Ooh. <laughs> oh, which one? I found them. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we go. Let's have a look. Oh, I love these because they're just classic. They're absolutely classic looking. These are perfect. Now, I have some tweezers. I'm, I'm going to use these. <laughs> Why not? Why not use these, I think? Why not? Here they are to be used. Oh, they're really comfortable. They are, aren't they? Oh, aren't they sold out? Oh. They're so comfortable. And they Loving life. Such a good grip. Yeah, they really are, aren't they? Really are. So we've got gold plated over sterling silver. Uh, beautiful. You've got three pieces. Three pieces. Obviously, you've got your full toggle as well. There it is. Um, the toggle itself, 13 mil. The bar, 22 mil. Sterling silver, gold plating. So we're talking high end pieces. And I really like the fact that they are so classic and really sophisticated because you want to start using them with sapphires, with sort of pieces very similar to you've created today. I think perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's, again, it's like following through. So if you're doing quite a simple, um, a simple design, you don't necessarily want an over fussy clasp. No. You'll want something that's very classic yeah. and very simple. I think maybe as well vice versa because if you've done quite a, an exquisite looking design you don't then want to take away from it with with just with the clasp itself do you? I don't think that would I, d I don't think you really have to worry about that. No. But that's my opinion. Oh, well. <laughs> so I think you know more than I. <laughs> well, I just think when you, because if you're using a design with very clean lines, yep. to then go with quite a wrapped and ornate clasp, then that doesn't quite work. Yeah, it doesn't fit, does um, it? But you can use the clean lines with an ornate. Yes. It doesn't, the other way around it works. Yeah. So an or, an or, there's only specific instances for ornate clasps, whereas a classic clasp you can use, use for, for anything. Yeah. That's what I meant to say, but in a very long-winded <laughs> way. <laughs> 
I like it. I like it. But six ninety five for three. Okay. Amazing. Six ninety five for three of these very lovely classic toggle class. Let's put these here. Ba -da -ba -ba. Lovely. Oh, they're nice. Lovely. Oh yeah, they're really lovely. They would look nice with that that we've just had. There we go. <laughs> I'm finding these incredibly useful. I'm not, not even creating with them. <laughs> uh, we've got gold plates again. Sterling silver. Sterling silver is a large rope of spaces. Three pieces again you are getting. Now, these are a great charm spaces as well as creating them in, in pieces and designs, aren't they? Yeah, they're re really nice. I mean, if you put them in, you can, if you had like a 10 mil bead, yeah. a couple of 10 mil beads and you can put them in between and they look great like that but what you can also do is have them on their side and, um, and just use them as like links almost Ooh, yes. put a bit of beading thread through and then they just have them as spaced you know along like that also looks really nice yeah. too really nice oh, and they're, they're so popular aren't they they are because they've got that it just they, they look um, that little bit special don't they and they're nice and heavyweight they're not really lightweight no yeah that's it yeah and I think you've only got to look on the high street to see how popular um, sort of these sorts of designs are, especially with that kind of twisted rope look to them. Incredibly popular. Uh, so gold plating on sterling silver, large rope spaces. You are getting three of them. They're about nine by four mil. Wow. Six ninety five for those as well. Six ninety five for three of them. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Gorgeous set, like you say to have them just their spaces sort of interlinked between pieces maybe if you've got those larger rounds they would look gorgeous uh yeah just very very useful very fashionable very they're quite nice and knotted bracelets as well oh, i bet they so are so if you have you just have the, the three of them across the front of the bracelet yeah. you know in between the, yeah. the three the beads at the front and then just the rest plain yeah it lifts it up like you say with a smoky quartz if you're not at a smoky quartz or that lapis we had if you knotted yeah. a lapis bracelet and then had just three across the front it would look really 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 good and they would just sit over the knots as well it works very well with a knotted bracelet. You could do it with just a plain, with, with just beading thread as well. But could yeah, you? Because they're quite oh, lovely. Would they look in between? Can you just? Yeah. You can really just picture that. Nice with nice macrame. Macrame braiding as well. Yeah, Mark like would do something absolutely stunning yeah. with it. Yeah. Because he, mind you, what everything he does is stunning. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Mark. is very true. This is very true. Yeah. They're so. They are really, really beautiful. I'm going to really lift a piece. I think whatever you decide to put them with. Uh, so sterling silver, three pieces. Just six ninety five. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yes, lovely. Is it now? Is it three of these and is it with the strand as well? They look beautiful together. What? This is very, very feminine. Very, very feminine colour. This is beautiful. Uh, so we have got peach shell um, collection inclusive of the plain round six mil, and then you've got. Uh, three pieces of that gorgeous shell, peach shell cabochons. They're about 30 mil. Oh my goodness. I've seen them in lots of colours, but I don't think I've seen them in this colour. And they are stunning. Really feminine. Very, very fresh looking. Very elegant, sophisticated look to them. They're really gorgeous. And you can wrap them with absolutely any colour wire at all. Oh, yeah. Any colour in the rainbow. They look great. I bet they do, actually. I bet they do. Amazing, and if you're not um, so sort of great at your wire wrapping, you can put them onto back in fabric, can't you? Almost yeah. attach all the way round them. And they've also got a hole in the back, so they you have can, half drilled. Uh, yep, yeah, half drilled. So you just make a little kink in the end of your wire, a bit of glue on the end, and dab it on there. That's a good way of holding them in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you don't have to. You know, I don't be shy of using a bit of glue yep. in jewelry making. I know some people can be quite snobby about it, but actually, if you go to any high-end jewellers, you'll find that they use glue in a lot of in, in in a lot of their pieces. Yeah. Just as an extra safety thing. Yeah, know, that's so. it. They're really durable as well, which is lucky. Mm. <laughs> that, that is good. Well, that's a good good thing because if you you do want something it's going to smash when you drop it because I've done that no before. you don't know I've spent two days making <gasps> a really ornate surround for a stone and just as I'm putting it in there dropped it it's a bespoke so it's a really mm. uh, dropped it smashed oh everywhere. no devastating <gasps> yeah I did yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> rage. Feel the rage. Oh my goodness. Now this is beautiful. So you can get three of those plus um, the per shell pearls in those six mil rounds. I really like shell pearls actually because you get the same classic look, but guarantee pretty much just to get the rounds. Yeah. That's it. You are going to get that uniformed all the way through. Uh, Eight ninety-five. Very nice indeed. Lovely. We've got Peach Shell Collection. Three of those gorgeous cabochons plus the six mil shell plain rounds as well, which is so lovely. They sit, well, they couldn't be more perfect, could they, as a grouping together. Mm -hmm. Three of those cabochons, lots of ways to work with them. And you're right, I love the fact that they are half drilled because you can just, yeah, put a little bit of glue in it, put in your wire and then start your wrapping. And it just gives it that extra security, doesn't it? It does. It does indeed. Really nice. Eight ninety. that's amazing. 8.95 for three cabochons plus the strand. Fabulous. Ah. Do you do this one? Yeah, sure. That is my left, so I'll just roll with it. Uh, now, these these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Now, mm, who was I with? It's with a designer the other day, and they made a beautiful piece with this. And what they did is had had one of the tubes and then used um, like a, a beautiful coil in between in gold, really thick gold wire. Then another one did another wrap. Another one did another coil, and they just looked so amazing, really, really amazing. And it just seemed to suit this sort of style of gemstone and the cut so well. Sounds the sort of thing Gemma would do, that does. I think it was Gemma. I think it was, was it? My memory's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. I remember the piece because that's what stands out. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Good I sure it might have been Gemma, actually. We were with Gemma the other day. I, just, I mean, it just looked beautiful and so in fashion. And yet, sort of putting a wire through it and then doing those beautiful calls in between and spaces was just, it was perfect, absolutely perfect. Gorgeous. But not only that, you get yourself capuchon as well in this set. So that's 220 carats worth of red agate tubes plus a 10 carat red, red agate faceted drop. <laughs> yeah, if anybody was watching, someone said Sarah very often, but I don't think it was. I've not worked with her for a while. Mmm, intrigue. Hmm. <laughs> Those sorts of things that I find quite irritating, though, that I can't remember. Get annoyed with myself that I can't remember. My memory is, is awful. Oh, my God. Like, the, the way I look at it is like every day is an adventure. I know, well, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, every day is a brand new day, literally. Yeah. Well, that's okay. it, absolutely, yeah. That's terrible, I can't remember, isn't it? That's really terrible. Beautiful tubes, those red agate tubes that look stunning, they look amazing, and this design was just perfect for it. $8.95 for that as well. That fasted cabochon looks beautiful, actually, and if you wanted to add them into a design together, they do sit so perfectly together with their colour, don't they? So wonderful, wonderful designs. Mm. <laughs> I'm still thinking. <laughs> I did a lovely uh, headdress with one of those faceted oh, ones like wow. that drop. Looks great. Oh, I bet it does. So, yeah, they're really good. I love to use unusual shapes and unusual cuts in different ways because it makes people sort of have a second look. Yeah, that's it, absolutely. Yeah, that, they're so good. And that depth of colour is beautiful as well. Um, and this design will be on the, on the Facebook page somewhere, but it was really, really lovely. And I, I think they probably used maybe five or, five or six of them. Yeah, if you could have a look, that'd be grand. Yeah, put my poor brain at rest. And it was just lovely. Yeah, really, really lovely. We had a gizmo coil with lots of different sizes on the gizmo coil, and they were trying them out with lots of different wires. Um, yeah, gorgeous. Eight ninety five, eight ninety five for this strand and also the cabochon as well. I think it was Linda. It was Linda. Oh, I think. Oh, Linda. I think I love it was. She's amazing. Uh, hi, ladies. Loving the show. It was Linda, says Marilyn. Yeah, there you I'm go. pretty sure it was. Well done. It was Linda who used these lovely beauties in the necklace. Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, oh, we got there in the end. Hmm. <laughs> rescued I know that's it yeah at least your brains are working because mine clearly isn't uh, so well done fabulous yes I think it was Linda 
You'd have woken up at three in the morning going, Linda. Yeah, I know. I do that. <laughs> yeah, I do do that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Have you got the design? <laughs> it's like floating around up there. There it is. That's it. That's it. That is the one. Can we show that? I don't know. Can we show that? Yes. Yes. There it is. Yes. There oh. we go. It was Linda. It's got, it was beautiful as well. And just sort of seemed to work with the look from it. Yeah. Simple, classic and perfect tones. Yeah. Look lovely. Really, really beautiful. Gorgeous stuff. 8 95 Thanks, guys, for finding that. And well done for remembering. What should we do? Oh. Whoop. There we go. Is it this one? It <laughs> Is, oh, is, that, is it this one? He goes, no, but we'll do it anyway. I was like that. I was picked up these. He was like, oh, okay, we'll do those, shall we? I was like, yeah. And what about these? No, we'll do these ones. Right, fabulous. We'll get there in the end. We'll get there in the end. Uh, these are gorgeous, I have to say. These are really, really beautiful. This is 135 carats worth of carnelian. They're a graduated step cut, which means the bars, well, the, sort of the cuts, the facets themselves are slightly larger. So it means you get a great, great luster and a beautiful sparkle from them. I love this colour. This colour is so intense, beautiful, beautiful colour to it. Carnelian, just nice and bright, nice and vibrant, but will go through lots of seasons. You want to mix it maybe with a citrine. You're going to get a very summery look to it. Maybe mix it with a peridot. You could mix it with a smoky quartz. It would give it more of a kind of autumnal look to it. So very, very versatile gemstone, although it's quite bright on its own, which is really lovely. Um, I think these always suit sort of that, that beautiful brillo wrap and look just so classic looking and beautiful in little drop earrings and... They're just so pretty, aren't they? Really are. They're like little droplets of fire. Yeah, they are. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. You're getting lots on there as well. It's a 24 centimetre strand, and they go from about 10 by 5 to 17 by 8. Beautiful depth of colour. They really are glowing. They're lovely. Uh, so this whole strand for just 17.95. No, it's not saying there. See what you can do. Seeing as I picked up the wrong piece, let's see what you can do. Shall we do a lower silver price? Yes, for nine ninety-five. Wow, that's quite a drop, isn't it? That's quite a drop off that. Well, were we at seventeen? Perfect. Eight pounds back in pocket. Boom. <laughs> that's nearly half price. That's amazing. I know. That's great. Nine ninety-five. How many are you getting? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Two, four, six, eight, thirty on here at nine ninety-five. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, even if you just had them, a few of them restranded on a necklace would look gorgeous. I think they look lovely in a big collar. Yeah, I think so too. Now that I've seen them sort of hung up like that. <laughs> Ooh, yes, please. And so fashionable, aren't they? Yes. Nine ninety-five. 9.95. Uh, we've got lots of people within your baskets. Do check that out. That's amazing. 135 carats worth. I've got 30 on here. They are graduated as well. They are graduated. Uh, they go from 10 by 5 to 17 by 8. Uh, like I said, I've got 30 on here, but it's a 24 centimetre strand, and it's just 9.95 instead of 17.95. Can't be a, a lowest price ever, really, can you? I love that. Literally can't. <laughs> no, no, that's the whole keys in the name. It is, it is all there for you. You're not wrong. Yeah, people multi buying now as well. Well done. Nine ninety five. Beautiful warmth. Gorgeous sort of fiery glow in there as well. Really lovely. Mum, can you grab me those as well? <laughs> which which one should we do? Because you've wanted to do the same one for ages. In, oh, over, I didn't even see that. Oh, here we go. Extra boxes all over the place. Here we are. This is lovely. Oh, my goodness, there's so much here as well. Wow. Hold on. Poor strands. There we go. Oh, I lie. Five strands. Oh, my goodness, there's so much here. Wow. So we have got uh, the 12 mil. 
Oh, nice fat hits on there. 10 mil, six, four, and three. Beautiful sodium. Like, I love this color because it's got the beautiful blues, but that injection of the sodium makes it just so really, really beautiful. I always think it looks like the sort of the bone china that you get in there, really similar. Yeah, it does, doesn't yeah. it? It looks great. The really lovely, white. almost like the sort of Japanese willow pattern yeah. style. It's amazing, isn't it? Really nice. Now, seeing so many sizes, uh, in the same gemstone, would you be tempted to use them all in a piece? Yeah. All those different sizes? Yeah, graduate all the way down. <gasps> um, or graduate and then bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller. You know, you can do whatever you yeah. want. But yeah, graduate, I would really definitely. Nice. So nice at the faceted. Wow. Even um, even a four mil of faceted, which is lovely. Got a great sparkle to it. Lovely, lovely depth of colour. And so nice that you have got these really large rounds. These are massive. Uh, so you've got the 12 mil, 10, 6, 4, and 3 on the end here, which are lovely. Which, if you want to use them as spacers, perfect. Want to use them as beady beads, that's perfect as well. Um, yeah, they're just so, so lovely. Great intensity of colour to them. And that real, that real injection of that white sodium just really looks beautiful. 21.75, where we should be. Already pretty amazing for five strands. But we're not doing that. Oh, whoa. So from 21 to 75, we're going to 14.95. Oh, my goodness. 14.95 for five strands. Three pounds a strand, pretty much. Lovely. Wow, beautiful gemstone as well. I think it'd be gorgeous for the summer. Really, really perfect for the summer. Lovely, lovely depth of colour, beautiful design in them as well, and it's all Mother Nature's wonderful design. Fourteen ninety-five for five strands is really quite incredible. Lovely intensity of those blues in there up against the white really sort of shows it off, doesn't it? So twelve, ten, six, four, and three mil. Gorgeous. Right, we're gonna pop those back in there. That's five strands. Well done if you've managed to check those out. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. All I can say is look at the size of this strand and you go, yeah, okay. And then I go, it's one of your top five. It's one of your precious gemstones and you're getting so much of it, so much of it. 65 carats worth of blue sapphire. Now, only five gemstones of all the gemstones that have ever been discovered Look at them, just trying to get in the picture. Let's move them out of the way. Uh, featured roll. Uh, out of all the gemstones that have ever, ever been discovered, five deemed the most precious. Your diamonds, your rubies, your emeralds, your tanzanite, and your beautiful sapphires. I love the classic blue, and I love the fact that it is natural. Lovely intensity of colours, beautiful intensity of colours. That is completely, completely natural. This is Burmese blue sapphire. 65 carats worth of it. It's faceted as well, so you're getting a lovely sparkle because of that depth of colour. And it's a massive 38, look at that, 38 centimetre strand. Absolutely beautiful. Now, when you use these sort of top five gems, when you're using your precious gemstones, what sort of effect does that have necessarily to not only that design, but to the whole of your stall, I would even imagine? It um, it says I'm not I'm t I'm not playing. Yeah, I'm taking it seriously, it, professionalism really. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know people have heard of sapphires and then yeah. they're like they they then start thinking of you as more of a jeweler than like costume jewelry. Yeah, um, which is nice. Absolutely, yeah. And I think once you're known with that, you're just gonna, your reputation you get will more, just rise. Yes, you, you get more commission work and things like what well, I do anyway. Because yeah. people are used to you know seeing you working with you're not frightened to work with more expensive stones um and if you've got the confidence to do that which is it's brilliant that you the, the prices we do here give you the confidence to work absolutely, with them absolutely yeah um so if people think you're good enough to work with these then they'll come to you asking for designs yeah um which is great yeah really lovely and really nice in the classic blue as well really nice to because if you get your certificate of authenticity and you are looking at the fact that you have got these really incredible pieces and you're in your top five and you're doing all that sort of wonder to it 
my goodness not only lovely as well if you just do it for a hobby and you were to use maybe sort of six or eight of them in drop earrings with sterling silver maybe from the finest kit that we got today what what an amazing gift what a beautiful beautiful gift that is to someone sterling silver sapphire earrings yeah gorgeous <laughs> right this is where it should be 59.95 it's a massive, massive strand, lovely intensity of colour. It is completely natural. It's a beautiful royal blue in there. What? You're taking 20 pounds off that. <laughs> Whoa. Phil we... doesn't care today. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> Whoa, it's all right. Let's just hit the 20 pound button. Love that. 39.95. Amazing. Definitely take advantage, I think. And like you say, the prices that we do for so much sapphire at uh, 39.95, I think it's amazing. Gorgeous colour to it. Lovely royal blue colour. I really not. I do. And I know Jan does it as well. Knotted pearl bracelets um, yes. with with like um, emeralds or sapphires or rubies with, and it looks absolutely amazing. And mm. it, it does because both sapphires and pearls have that see, same perceived value. Yeah. See how gorgeous that would be. And you don't have to do it in between each one. You just have like three. So you have the pearls and then you'll have like three or four um, sapphires in between at the front. Yeah. Um, and it just it just adds a little detail and it's yeah. very, very pretty. Beautiful glamour. And you're not using too much of the strand either. No, because I do like my <laughs> I'm, I do like my strands to last a while. Well, so. I think you would when it's a precious gem. You yes. want it to, don't you? Yes. You maximise, you know, maximising your profits in my case. Uh, maximise the use of that stone. Well, absolutely. But you have still got a sapphire and pearl bracelet. What is that? I mean, not everybody's got, you know... 40 pounds to spend on a strand that they're going to use all in one go. No, quite. So if you're going to invest in a strand like that, it's nice to be able to just use a little bit and it, it lasts you for a few months. Yeah, I love um, the fact that it's such a long strand that if you did think, oh, 40 pounds, I don't know, you could share it with someone because there's enough oh, yeah, on there. Yeah to be able to check because it's such a massive strand. You know, Al Alison and, and Fee Potter and I, we always share strands. Do quite so yeah, yeah, nice. we'll, 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 we'll buy stuff and, and share it between us, which is good. Because so if, you sh if you shared that with somebody else, you mm -hmm. would still have this much. Yeah. Which is still a real, it's pretty much like a normal length strand, isn't it really? Yeah. And I, I love the glow you get from sapphires. Yeah. They really are pretty. Beautiful. Well done if you managed to grab that. That's an incredible saving. And I think sometimes it is about finding people and sharing things because when you're looking at £40, it might be a bit much for you. But split it in half, you've still got a massive amount to work with, still create beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Over here. Ooh. That's, oh my goodness, they're amazing. Wait, I wonder, can I, if I can get them out. Oh, yeah, I can. Let me get one of them out. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's stunning. Lovely detail on there. Uh, so we've got three of these, I believe. Yep, three of them. Um, beautiful toggle clasp. My goodness, look how decorative they are. They catch the light perfectly. Silver plated toggle clasp. I love them. Would you make them a feature in your piece? You could do. We could just use it as a pendant. It's that pretty. Oh, yeah. Be nice, or you can dangle a stone in the middle of it, wire wrap a cabochon onto it. You Ooh, can nice. um, use it as a bezel for resin. There you go, Fee. I got that from you. Done. So you can do stuff like that. <laughs> Amazing, but great though that no, that you're sharing those sorts of ideas. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, we um, all the designers inspire each other, absolutely, which is a really nice thing, I think. So, you know, it, it's a great, it's not a negative thing, no it's way, all, it's no, really positive. Really. That's amazing. So we've got um, three silver plated toggle clasps and then we have got clear quartz to add to it as well. A beautiful clear quartz to add to that. That's uh, 70 carats worth of clear quartz, graduated plain rondelles. Uh, 6 by 3 to 8 by 5 on an 18 centimetre strand. Even up here at the top where it's reflecting from the silver, you can see how clear that beautiful gemstone is and you're going to get that incredible internal brilliance to it. Oh, okay. 895, 893. But, sorry, say it again. Are they now? The, the class was 695 on their own. Beautiful. 
Love that. So we've got two pounds for that strand. <laughs> That's amazing. Beautiful toggle class. They're a great size, aren't they? Lovely, lovely sort of um, detail to them. So they re reflect the light perfectly. And we've got 70 carats worth of clear quartz. This is lovely. Plain rondelles. Um, gorgeous way they catch the light. Lovely internal brilliance. 8.95. Stunning. Two pounds for that. If that is normally 6.95. <laughs> Love that. Right, let's pop that back in there. Oh, is it? Is it just? Is it this one? It's how many? Two. Lovely, beautiful peridot. Always looks stunning, and I love when you see it in these sort of organic drops because it really suits the colour. I think that's really nice. Is it that one as well? Wow. Oh, I say. Uh, so we have got um, eight carats worth of fasted rounds and the two mil. I always think that's so delicate, so intricate. They are beautiful. And then 80 carats worth of the plain drops. Just stunning. They're Wow! Beautiful greens. Really, really lovely sort of internal glow to those greens in there. Really lovely. And like I said, I love that organic look. I love the glow that comes from it. But the organic look really suits the Peridot because of its colour. Stunning. If you wanted to use these as spaces again, they're going to be really beautiful spaces. Or if you wanted to use them solely on their own, they've got a beautiful glow in them. Really, really lovely glow. Wow. So I love those as accent beads. I use a lot of two mil beads. I've got about three strands of those peridot and two mil because I use them so often. Wow. Uh, absolutely adore them. Can't get enough, to be honest. Love that. Um, what... Um, what do you think you would use the drops? How would you use the drops in a design? Um, I'd mix them with those um, opals we had earlier. Oh, yes. The chunky, because you could, like, I love the texture to go with the chips. That's how it works best for me. Chips and nuggets. Love it. They look, good. They look lovely together, actually. They do. Look at that. It's really kind of ah, summery and lovely. Yeah, really gorgeous. So two strands of Peridot. Uh, lovely intensity of colour, really, really lovely colour to it. Almost glow at nine ninety five. Nine ninety five. Two mil faceted rounds, uh, and then eight carats worth in those plain drops. Looks stunning. Beautiful internal glow to it. Yeah, really, really lovely and very organic look in those drops, which I think really suits that beautiful colour. Nine ninety five for two strands. Amazing. Love that. That's really beautiful. Oh, yes! Right, last one of these then. We've got amazing tiger's eye. Um, one of my favourite phenomena is actually where it's layer upon layer upon layer and as I like catches on each of those layers, it looks like the design is changing within the gem. It's really, really stunning. Now we've got two strands. This is the first one. These are the 10 mil rounds. They are faceted. And as they move, you can see the detail changing in each and every single one of those beautiful gemstones. Gorgeous, look at that, whoa. And it looks like the design changes, but it's not. It's just where the light is catching on all those different layers, and it appears that the design is changing within the gemstone. Lovely in those facets. You don't often see uh, Tiger's Eye faceted, so that's lovely. 230 carats worth of faceted rounds, 10 mil. And then we have... Uh, four mil rounds as well to go with it and again still seeing all that beautiful detail in there oh yes that looks lovely lovely oh, so two strands beautiful phenomena gorgeous gorgeous look to it and we're taking these all the way down to oh 6.95 <laughs> Lovely, six ninety-five. Well done if you managed to grab that, because that's crazy. Let's pop that in there. Now we did have. Uh, I'm going to bring this with me because it's so amazing. Uh, we gave you the labradorite. <laughs> we gave you the. Oh wow! This was your challenge. Yes. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Really beautiful gem. They are unbelievable quality. Yeah. They have such glow and colour and fire and... Yeah, so I didn't want to do too much with them. 
No, well, the gem kind of does most of it for you, doesn't it, yeah, really? It does, does all of the work, so... Which is nice. That's fine with me. Carry on, I'm as you were. Yep, I'm quite happy with that. That's lovely, isn't it? Those beautiful golden colours, blues. Oh, you see, I just want to get that and make something for myself and keep it, because it is just amazing. Yeah, it I is amazing. two strands, because I'd have one out all the time on the stall and the other yeah. one on my hand. And the other one wearing it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I love these. These would make beautiful rings, wouldn't they? They would. They would. And again, because they are so nice, that's the sort of thing I'd want on my wrist or on my finger. So you can so see So I can them. look at it. Yeah. So I can look at it. God. Fourteen ninety five as well for that strand. Is, is it's, it's amazing. For the quality of Labradorite, I am absolutely blown away by that price. Um, I'm unbelievably blown away, so... Gorgeous. Well, let's have a little look at what you created, because it is beautiful. I love all that work in there. Ooh. But I didn't want to overdo it. No. Because, you know, I probably have. No, I <laughs> don't think I didn't you have at all, I think, because you let the you, gemstone shine. And as you tilt that, you'll have that absolutely amazing colours. But it's double-sided, so if you turn that over, um, you could have oh. the more... You see what I mean? Oh, you're amazing. But that's... I like designs to be double-sided because the first thing anybody does on your stall is pick something up and turn it over. <laughs> they do. And if you've just hidden everything at the back, yeah. you've got to make it look neat. Yeah. Because they turn it over and they're like, ooh. That's it. That's it. Gorgeous. Bracelet as well? Bracelet. It's just simply threaded onto beading thread. But that's all it needs. Yeah. I didn't even bother with spaces or anything. I thought, you know what? Actually, oh, that's what yeah. I do with it. I wouldn't put anything else with it. It's just all about that amazing stone. It's stunning. Right, when are you next back? I'm actually here tomorrow doing a course. Oh, are um, you? But then I'm back on uh, 4th for the birthday show. Yes, it will be on the birthday extravaganza. Yeah. yeah some amazing, amazing things coming up. Uh, thank you so much for staying with us. We've had a fabulous show. So yeah. interesting what you've created. Thank you. And so lovely to be able to work through a design that lots and lots of people had asked about. Yeah, they have. I mean, they, they often do. So quite often, if you do see a design that I haven't demoed, then just ask me and I'll do it in a future DI. So Amazing. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, uh, wonderful designs coming up. Next, the Late Show will be here. Hannah is going to be with you uh, through till uh, nine o'clock. Are you with uh, Gemma Crow? Yes. yes lovely. Oh. There she is, strolling in. Uh, so, yeah, don't go anywhere. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been really, really wonderful. Had some lovely, lovely ideas, I think. Great. You've done some wonderful work there right at the thank last you. moment. Uh, so, thank you very much. Enjoy the Late Show, and I will be back tomorrow on the Late Show with <laughs> some more crazy so uh, enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye. If you'd like to wish Jewelry Maker a happy fifth birthday, download our Jewelry Maker Viewers Voice app and record your own video message that could be shown during our fifth birthday celebrations. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker!
that says take your burden down to my soil now we'll make yellow flowers for you you can now watch clips from jewelry maker on our youtube channel get interactive with jewelry maker It was here almost 650 years ago in Amir where King Jai Singh first laid the foundations that was to become one of the world's most famous walled cities, Jaipur. The city of Jaipur, commonly known as the Pink City, is now taking centre stage for gemstone cutting and trading. It's here in the bursting heart of the walled city that our gems of distinction strands are cut, faceted and polished. So, how do you get a pile of tourmaline that looks like this into a gorgeous strand that looks like this? So when you've got a pile of tourmaline like this, it's going to be made into gemstone beads. First of all, each one of these gemstones needs to be inspected. A line is then drawn down the middle of the gemstone or wherever the gem is going to be faceted and it's then taken behind us and then faceted into these rough gem shapes. Once each gemstone has been cut into the amount